Rock got that jazz popping in the back. Oh, you hear it? It's not too loud, yeah. is it? Nah, nah, you good, bro. Come on. Give me one second. Rock got that jazz popping in the back. Yeah, we good now. Just letting you know. Go, go ahead, Ara. First Peter 5 and 2. Feed the flock of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is among you, in the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, Kodash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here for bear pretty much an open form. That a brother Kabai with us. That a brother Ara. Shalom. I'm the brother Hawad, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying, you know what I'm saying, to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, which um, have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, which may look like so-called white people, Chinese, Japanese, so-called Africans, um, East Indians, um, Arabs, so forth and so on, man, you know? So Lord mm -hmm. willing, like I said before, hey, look, man, a lot going on, you know? We're, we're living in the, in the news, we're living in the time of prophecy, you know, Lord, when we're going to bring our articles and, and the latest happenings, man, we're here to bring you the latest happenings, like the brother read. You know what I'm saying? What was that, James, bro? Uh, first Peter. First Peter says, Feed the flock. What are we feeding the flock with? And I, I got a precept for that, too. Read that again, bro. Baba yep. Kasha. First Peter 5 and 2. And take your Feed. time, bro. Con. Feed the flock of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Feed is the flock. Feed the flock of the most high. I'm going to prove right, right quick. Let me just prove what we're going to feed them with. Because it says feed the flock. When, when our people hear that right there, they might think that it's talking about go set up a soup kitchen when we out there teaching. Right? Go pass out some turkeys. Right, bro? Right. Go pass out some chicken sandwiches. Right? It says feed the flock. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's the flock of the most high? The Israelites. When they hear that scripture, y'all ain't, ain't um, cooking, putting no hot dogs on the grill today? Y'all just read that scripture. It says feed us. We're going to show you what we're going to feed you with right quick. Because Jake, Jake, uh, simple like that, man. This is um Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to the heavenly father's mind. which shall feed you. We just read that, right? It says feed you in First Peter, right? Feed you. I, I wonder what, what, what are we going to feed them with? With the knowledge <laughs> and understanding. So when we, when we just read in First Peter about feeding the flock we're going to feed you with the knowledge wisdom understanding of the scriptures man that's our job and then it says um pretty much daily edification yep. be instant in season out of season right look we have we have to reprove our people according to the bible we have to rebuke them we have to exhort them uh, with all long suffering and doctrine but we got to be instant in season out of season always ready to teach you know so let's go back bro yep yeah I got a precept when you finish what? Go ahead. Oh, bring it out now. Bring it out. This is Acts 20 and 28. It says, take heed therefore unto yourselves. Right. Examine yourself. That's the thing we're supposed to be doing. Examine ourselves constantly, each and every day. Examine ourselves, whether we be in the faith, lest we be reprobate, you know? Go ahead. Yep. It says, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. And to all the flock, watch over the flock because you got the wolves out there. See, we have been made shepherds. You know what I'm saying? The chief shepherd, Lord Yahweh Shai, have made men shepherds, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone. We have been made shepherds, man, over the Lord's flock, over the Lord's heritage. The Israelites, man. So we got to keep our eyes, we got to keep watch. You know what I'm saying? Henceforth, we're watching, right? We always got to be watching. Why? Because you got the wolves out there, man. 
Mm-hmm. And, and the sheep are what? Very docile creatures, man. They're very mm-hmm. docile. Only they're bad, bad, <laughs> bad. They ain't looking around, man. They don't know right. there's an enemy in the woods lurking like this. You know what I'm saying? Looking at them, man. So that's why right. the shepherd is out there, you know what I'm saying, with that staff, like, yo, you know what I mean? They feed them mm-hmm. and they watching out for the flock. Read it again, bro. Beautiful precept. Gun, the water. The water y'all about to be shot. Yep. Gun, this is Acts 20 and 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. Right. And to, to all the flock. And to all the flock. Go ahead. Over the which the Holy Spirit. Have made you overseers, right? You have a bunch of y'all shot basically made us managers over his business, man. You see, over his establishment, over his building, you know. Mm-hmm. And if you're a manager, you're gonna be constantly watching the other employees, right? <coughs> right. Making sure they making sure they're doing what they gotta do, right? You see, yep. when when they're not doing things correct, you no know saying we're just talking about um in a corner, but we know it's all spiritual. Like if you're in in your business or whatever, you're looking to make sure they're running this machine, right? You know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. You make sure they're using um, the right chemicals <laughs> on this, that, and the third. Brothers, get the logistics of what we say, right? Yep. yep. If you're working in a mechanical shop and a person is just now starting to work there for the first day, you make sure you're using the right tool to take the nuts off, to take the tires off. You see? That's right. You're making sure he's hooking the cables up to the right part uh, to check uh, the diagnosis of the vehicle. So, so you're a manager over that person, just like the Lord has made us managers over the flop. Mm-hmm. Starting up with the head of apostles, man. It, 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 it's not an easy job, man. That's why everybody got to be taking notes. Everybody got to be watching, like like you got teachers that's teaching you how to how to run the business. You got to be watching and paying attention. You see, because somebody's you, you, eventually you're gonna have to teach somebody how to mm-hmm. how to work in that business, how to work in that shop, right? <clears throat> and and if you haven't been taking notes and paying attention, you're gonna teach them the wrong way, correct? Right. That's why when we listen to the apostles, we got to take notes. We got to let our ear be attentive of what's being said. Take notes, constantly mm-hmm. rehearse so you can get better. So when it's time for you, you to start teaching, you can teach someone the right way. You can lead the sheep the right way. You can protect the sheep. You can warn the sheep. And that's our job. Any more than that, bro? Oh, yeah. It reads on Acts 20 and 28. It says, um, uh, Oh, yeah, let me just say this, bro. Let me just say this, bro, because this is not a light thing. It says the Lord made us overseers of his heritage, man, over his mm-hmm. flock. This is not a light thing, man. Mm-hmm. And, and and on top of that, the Lord sitting back watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Lord gone, you know what I'm saying? But he's watching at the same time. Ain't that cold? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord, Yahweh is gone for right now, but he's watching by way of the angels, man. The angels are watching every man that was set up to push this work to look over the flock. Oh, yeah, he's watch- he's still watching over the flock. You see, he still watch. He still wanted the sheep of the wolves. So far, the song. Oh, y'all not. He ain't been. He ain't watched the sheep in a week. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, 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 the sheep. The sheep. You know what I'm saying? Look, because everything like the apostle said. Um, apostle Tabar. You know I'm saying did a video earlier. Basically, you know what I'm saying just going into um the job of a watchman. When someone comes to your page, they don't supposed to see it dry. You see, right. they're supposed to see like um when was the last time this person posted? Maybe a day ago. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a couple of hours ago because you're constantly feeding them. We just read with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures, mm-hmm. which is able to save our souls, man. This, right. this is what's going to keep us stable. Look, We're going to bring it out through the spirit. Gas that went up. And when gas goes up, you know, gas put, goes into a vehicle and the vehicles that you put the gas in brings all the goods to the store. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if there ain't no gas in the vehicle to bring to bring the goods to the store, it, it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's nothing. It ain't like we can go to a building with their manu- manufacturing all these things. No, we're right. waiting on the truck to come. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. the truck ain't getting gas, then that's your ass. That rhyme. Right. Right? They want to hear a rhyme, right? If the right. truck don't get no gas, that's your ass. They want to hear a riddle, there you go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Riddle me this, riddle me that, you know? That's right. And then y'all, y'all brother want to chime in? Y'all already know how we do. Go ahead. Done. It reads on Acts 20 and 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Spirit have made you overseers right. to feed no, I just saying right. Con, to feed the church of the Most High which he have purchased with his own blood. Right, to feed the church of the Most High look, look, of Lord Yahweh he, he purchased with his blood, man. You see? Mm-hmm. And look, man, and, and, and it's a cold deal, man. That's why we got to be thankful, man, for Lord Yahweh We got to thank the Heavenly Father for sending his only begotten <clears throat> son. And we got to thank Lord Yahweh for that um, 
great act that he did, man. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. blessed act that he did by putting his life on the line. And shedding his blood because look, that's the only way we can receive the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. It, it had to be a great sacrifice, man, just for us to receive this knowledge. That's why, that's why it ain't no games. And I mean, we make our little jokes or whatever, you know, what I'm saying comical things here and there. But this thing is deadly serious. Our Lord and Savior shed his blood for us to get this knowledge, man. And then right. the Lord, you know, what I'm saying, made us overseers of this word. And look, he, he said, Do something with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, he ain't shed his blood for nothing, man. You know, you know. Do something. Like about um, the president that he used to work with, you gotta do something. No, you gonna tell me something. You know what I'm saying? You gonna tell me something. You know, and that's our job to tell Israel something, man. So give them the good news according to the Bible. That's a heavy scripture right there, bro. This is how deadly serious this thing is. Lord Yahweh shall shed his blood for us to be able to teach this blessed word, man. So we, we better do it to the best of our ability, man. Mm -hmm. That's it, bro. Now, that's one more verse. Go ahead. Verse 29, for I know this, that after departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Right. You know what I'm saying? And look, the prophets were telling us that thousands of years ago. When it, when they when they um, disappear from off the scene, grievous wolves are going to come in, man. False teachers, man. And it says um, evil men shall wax worse and worse, worse deceiving and, worse. and being deceived, man. Grievous <laughs> wolves, man. These false prophets, mm -hmm. these false pastors in these churches, they're grieving as wolves, man. Mm -hmm. Only thing they, they don't want to give you anything, they just want to take from you, man. Yep. You see, they, they want your money, they're gonna feed you lies, and at the same time, they want you to pay for it. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Our people paying for lies, man. But look though, the Lord said, you No, know saying don't do this thing for filthy lucre's sake, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do this thing for filthy lucre's sake. Look, look, the, the Lord is already the Lord and already paid the ultimate price anyway. You see, the scripture say we're, we're um this is our duty, pretty much. Just roughly paraphrasing, right. this is our duty, man. Yep. Yeah, you see, and that, that's the spirit, man. Because I know when I first came into the troop, well, right before you know I crossed over, I was like, Man, it's, it's, it, it, this is something I could be doing, something holding a sign, something, mm -hmm. something, man, right? You know, you get mad sitting back, you know, watching Hawaii on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, 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 let me, I want to do something, man, right? Because you, know? right. you feel like this, you, you, you know, in the spirit that this is your. Reasonable service, man. Right. The spirit's telling you to get out there. That's right. Right. It, it like, and look, bro, that's a humble spirit to have, man. I want to do something. Look, I want to hold a sign. I want to do something. Hold a camera. Hold a post. I want to do something. But then you got the grieving his wolves looking at you like I want his spot. You know what I'm saying? He he need to shut it down. You know what I'm saying, and let me get up there. I can show him how to really do it. Right. See, the Lord said, watch out for people that's coming in that spirit, man. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a person that's covetous. That's a yep. person that wants something that don't belong to them, man. You see, just like the head of apostles, those positions was given to them through the spirit mm -hmm. of your shop. But then you got guys selling them to retire. Look, look, I can show you how to do it better. When look, when, when they're doing it for filthy lucre's sake, they, they really don't want to teach. Look, and you see that their teachings, right? Their teachings is all about folly. You see, <laughs> their teachings, oh yeah, look. Um, stop the true men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, from teaching the word so you can get up there and show everybody how to make a rap video, right? How to get in your hell cat, right? You know what I'm saying? How to throw up gang signs and all the other nonsense right now, man. The Lord said, I already set up men over my heritage, over my flock. And they're going to do exactly what I commanded them to do. They're going to feed the flock with this word, man. And that's it. But this word ain't enough for Jake, bro. Y'all see that? This word ain't enough, man. Jake wants something else, man. So let's go back around. Yep. Can I finish it out? Oh, you want some more about? Yeah, verse um 30. It says, Also, your your own also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. And, uh, what you are just, we not are we not living in that time? Go ahead, Kabai. Right. Nah, just going what you were saying with these other guys, man. Telling guys to retire, you know. Because at the end of the day, they want men to follow them, man. Right. You know, and, and, and look, man. <laughs> That's just going off, man, because you're not mm -hmm. preaching and teaching the the one hundred percent truth. And look, bro, they, they, they want men to follow them, but they don't want nobody to follow the apostles. And elder bitch is a great millstone. Mm -hmm. You know that's way off, right there, man. The Lord said, "Look, my sheep hear my voice." Yep. Lord, how shall I speak it through certain men? And if 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 the Lord got His Spirit on you to hear. You're going to hear those, man. You're not going to hear that strange voice. These false prophets are strange voices, man. Right. You see? Come, coming with those perverse doctrines, man. You see? Yep. That's a bad scripture, though, bro. 
was it? That was, yeah, that was it. Go ahead, Oran. Uh, going back to First Peter 5 and 2, feed the flock of Yahweh, <coughs> which is among you. Right. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. Right. You ain't got to fight yourself. You're not fighting yourself to teach this word. You, you're doing it willingly. You see, nobody got to kick you in your ass to make you do a video. You're doing this thing willingly. You see, this mm -hmm. is not by constraint, but willingly, man. Yep. Nobody ain't got to always say something to you like when you're going to do a video. You're doing this thing willingly. Because mm -hmm. this is our job, man. Just like all of us, all every brother on the, on the um, video, we got a job, man. When we go to work, the, uh, the manager ain't got to tell us what to do because we already know what to do. Right. They, look, they give us the list. Like when I go on my job, you know what I'm saying? We got a list of things, of duties, you know what I'm saying? And things we got to do. Once you get the list, you go on and go do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody got to come tell you what to do when you mm -hmm. already got the list. Look, we already got the list. Mm -hmm. yep. This is the list right here. Look, let's let's go. Let's get to work now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And look, they do it willingly. Because if you do this thing willingly, then there's a reward because our labor is not in vain. That's right. And like I said before, brother want to chime in, get it in. Uh -huh. Go ahead, bro. It's, reading on First Peter five and two, it says, "Not for filthy lucre, but and that's what, so like I'm probably just gonna say that's what guys are doing. They're teaching the word. Well, they they they're teaching the word, but they're not teaching it truthfully. They're doing it for filthy lucre's sake. They got um, they always putting their cash app on their video thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> cash app button right here. No, I'm saying. Um, I, I don't know all those different um, apps that you send money through and all that, but those guys got it up there. Patreon. They got cash app up there. Who, bro? Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, they got cash app. They got Patreon. And the Lord said, don't make merchandise of his house, man. Yep. These are the same guys, you know what I'm saying, that was in the temple of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, selling mm -hmm. everything, man. And the Lord went in there and started whipping everybody ass, man. You mm -hmm. see? And ran them up, turning over tables and everything. They was getting 50 stinking rich, bro. Right. When the Lord went in there and turned over the table, the, man, the Lord ain't nothing to play with either. Lord Yahweh mm -hmm. ain't nothing to play with, or his heavenly father, most definitely. The Lord went up in there, turning the tables over and everything, man. Because they, they made his father's house uh, a house of thieves, man, and robbers, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. And the Lord said, thou shalt not steal, right? You know what I'm saying? The Lord going to do something to these guys, man. But our job is that... To see what they're doing and know not to go that way and go the way, which is the scripture told us which way to go, man. Yep. It's not right. no arithmetic, you know? Right. Uh, finishing off First Peter 5 and 2, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. I always be apt to teach. Mm -hmm. I always be apt to teach. And then like we always say through the spirit, I know the Lord got me uh, saying it more and more. Whatever's in you is going to come out. Yep. Going right back to the word educate, you know, to draw mm -hmm. without. So, so mm -hmm. if it's so if it ain't in you, it's not gonna come out. Mm -hmm. Only thing we're doing, we're teaching what was already in us, man. We just we just needed teachers, you no know saying to reteach us again what was already had already been taught to us, right? Because the scriptures say, um, to stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so the mm -hmm. things that we're teaching, we already knew it, you know what I'm saying? It's been more, um, it's been made more clear though. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying the revelation the breakdown of, of the scriptures have been made more clear the understanding that has been made more clear so now yep. we truly understand what the scriptures are saying now you know mm -hmm. read that NLT? yeah that's the end of that can i re read the nlt yeah brother uh first peter 5 and 2 the nlt says care for the flock that the most high has entrusted to you <laughs> watch over it willingly not grudgingly mm -hmm. You not, got it, bro. Yeah, not grudgingly, not complaining, not murmuring. You know, doing it willingly, putting forth your best effort, being hot for the truth. That's mm -hmm. why the Lord just keeps say, um, I'd rather you be hot or, or cold. You know, you, you either serving the Lord and, and feeding his sheep or you not, man. No, the Lord don't want no lukewarm or you know, uh half his job when feeding his people. That's and not, right. Not complaining either. It says not for hey, bro, what you. Hey, 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 Rock, can I make this statement? No, saying because you just made a beautiful point. Have you ate this week? Yep. Kabah, have you ate this week? That's right. I just got finished eating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the Lord said, "Feed my flock," and we feed them with the word, man. Uh -huh. Come on, man. With everything that's going on, all this nonsense being pushed on the on the YouTube, 
on the different internet sites. Look, you got to keep this word pushing, man. You got to keep that energy. Keep going mm -hmm. out there, man. You got to keep this spirit rolling, man. Because shit, Jake, you know what I'm saying, mind so docile, you know what I'm saying, their um, attention span is so low, you know what I'm saying, they'll forget mm -hmm. what they learned. That's why it's repetition. Yep. It's all about repetition. Repeating the same thing over and over. You got Jake tired of us bringing the same scriptures out all the time about uh, <laughs> prophecy. He just brought it out loud yesterday, brother. Well, mm -hmm. you know I'm saying you want me to keep breaking because that's how you learn. That's right. Once you hear things over mm -hmm. and over and over again, then it gets up here. Then you're like, oh yeah, now I remember now. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to remember certain things, man. That's why the Lord, like, yo, look, like he told the apostle Peter, feed my lambs. Mm -hmm. Feed my lambs. The apostle Peter got mad. Lord, you, Lord, you know I love you. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, feed my sheep then. All right. Mm -hmm. You love me, feed my sheep then. And that's why the Lord had us bring out that first scripture. Right. Feed the flock of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. That's what the Lord commands us to do, man. Mm -hmm. And, it looks, and, it, and this, this, uh, this word is so exciting. You know what I'm saying? It ain't been a dull moment yet, man. And I've been in it for a couple of years. You brother been in it for a couple of years. It ain't been a dull moment yet, man. And the Lord been turning up, the Lord been turning up every year. But this right. is the year of turn up. Oh, no. The Lord ain't slack concerning his promise. And mm -hmm. some being kind of slackness. Mm -hmm. The Lord's getting ready to destroy this place. And before he destroys this place, and look, he's making it known, he's making it clear that he's going to destroy this place. Man, the Lord bringing plays upon now. Look, now mm -hmm. it's getting ready to start cooking now. The Lord's right. starting to cook now, man. He's stirring up the pot now, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got that it, precept for you too, Rob. When you finish, con, con. And if I, if I could just chime in too, and if if you're only you know, proficient in a few dishes, like you only can cook, you know, lamb and you know greens and all that, you know, you can only make a few dishes. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Just like the talents. If you only have a certain talent, you you know, you only prophesy what your scriptures say. Rather, you prophesy. You can't go into knowledge or certain other things. That's hey, use your talent. What the Lord gave you. If you're if you're going into missiles every week, <coughs> going to missiles every week. If it's right. repetitive, scriptures are repetitive. You know, the Lord wants us to to understand how deadly serious this is, and you mm -hmm. see the different um witnesses in the scriptures of Jeremiah, Isaiah going into these different accounts. It's repetitive. There's nothing wrong with going into you know the same prophecies, bringing out the same scriptures, man. As long as you're feeding the sheep, as long as you're breaking them down, right? And you're breaking them down, right? The water, brother. And then every master chef, you know what I'm saying, has his favorite dish. But even with his favorite dish, he adds a little bit more ingredients yep. to that dish every time. Right. He right. spices it up every time. You know what I'm saying? And you and look, and you will be able to tell if you're used That's to right. eating his food. You're like, this this something tastes a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you the only thing you can break down is slavery scriptures and things of that yep. nature on um, fear scriptures, trust scriptures. Mm -hmm. You want to ask, ask some in there. Yep, you're gonna grow. Yep. <clears throat> if I may chime in, brothers, you know, it's kind of like a um, you go to a buffet. They got a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. But let's say they have pizza. The pizza is not going to be as good as a actual pizza shop. That that, that that's their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they specialize. They, they, they've mastered it. And once they master it, what do they do? Oh, we're going to throw in some prophecy toppings. We're going we're gonna to throw in some destruction toppings. Right. Gonna, yeah, this special specialized uh, 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 um, uh, trust uh, 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 scriptures, topic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. To whereas when you go to a buffet, they don't give you the basics, right? Which is, which is what you need. But at the end of the day, you gotta perfect that in order mm -hmm. to move on to you know. Yep. Beautiful. Oh yeah, Apostle Ramlob did um did a live stream too. I think it was Apostle Ramlob teach what you know. Yep. That's the only thing you can do. That's the only thing that we can do is teach what we know. Don't try to teach something you don't know, man. You're gonna look real and look. The Lord said, no saying, look, every <laughs> idle word. And, and plus, we gotta be careful what we feed the sheep with. That's right. You see, can't just feed the sheep with anything. You know, the sheep eat grass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But here you is trying to um feed the sheep some chicken. You know what I'm saying? Or you trying to uh, you trying to feed the sheep, you know what I'm saying? Um some red hots or something. You know All what right. I'm saying? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Doritos, some shit. Some Bojangle French fries. <laughs> <coughs> so, so, so the Lord already gave us the blueprint, man, on what to do. Let us just do it. It's so much going on right about now. Prophecies, man. Prophecies are starting to kick into high gear, man. Hold on. It's gonna be mm -hmm. a bumpy ride. It's ready to be a bumpy ride, man. Like what's going to about the gas prices? It's, it's really getting ready to go up. Everything is gonna go up, man. 
The right. way of life is changing as we speak. And look, you Israelites better learn how to change with it. That's right. You yeah. better or, or get rolled on or get rolled on. So that's why Isaiah 33 and 6 is so important right about now, man. You see? Having the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures to keep us stable. Shit, when we seen that gas prices was five some and seven some and eight some and things of that nature, we didn't panic. Right. We we rejoiced at that time. Man. We right, rejoiced right. at hearing that, man. We rejoiced right. right about now. But look, we know the average person out there is panicking right about now. Mm -hmm. Right. You got it, brother. That's right. <laughs> what? You like the gas prices going on? That's why you got you got you got to be a Clark Kent, man. Right. Because people right. nowadays they look. You, you know, you really speak in your mind, they're going to look at you sideways. <laughs> <laughs> just sit, look, just sit back and watch these people bug the hell out, man. That's all. Mm -hmm. Just sit back and watch the movie. That's our job. Feed the mm -hmm. sheep, you know what I'm saying? Be Clark Kent, be Superman when we out there on the highways and byways. And look, and keep silent <coughs> and watch the movie. Grab right. some popcorn and watch the movie. You got it, Ra. Uh, finishing off the NLT, First Peter 5 and 2, it says, watch over it willingly not grudgingly damn not for what you will get out of it because that's what that's why let me just say this around because that's why a whole lot of guys are doing this thing that's yep. why they walk around with fringes on with bibles and all that because they're trying to see what they can get out of it bro they're not really doing it in sincerity and in yep. truth you see they're not doing it because they really want to do it they're doing it because you no know saying this is the wave right about now so to speak mm -hmm. you know this israelite yep. thing you no know saying it's a new wave you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a new ish. When when this is our heritage, man, this is our nationality. This is who right. we are, man. That that's that's a heavy um. What's that? The NLT. Con. That NLT going in, ain't it? Mm-hmm. You got it, bro. It says wow. not for. <laughs> Damn, that was a heavy one, man. Not what you can get out of it, man. Ooh. Go ahead, bro. Con it says not for what you will get out of it, but. Because you are eager to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh yeah. Shai. Yep. <laughs> because you you're, it, eager. you're sincere to feed the sheep, you know? And of course, you know, we want to make our calling and election short, sure, but when you call, it's going to say, as much is given, much is required. You know, uh, you know, the goal is to feed the sheep and, and then, Lord willing, receive salvation. You know, we endure to the end because, you know, we're in it for salvation, obviously, but we're not in it for filthy lucre. We're not in it for women. What, what the guy at ISUP keeps. ISUBK say, he said, if you want um, you want a place, you want money, you want women. And then he said something about weed, which is going off. Mm -hmm. All right, because they're enticing Jake to come in for because they know that's what Jake is into, like uh, fashion and fad. What you can get out of the truth. That's right. You know, not not sincerely serving the Lord. You want to say something, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll back you up with a, a definition of a word because at the end of the day, Jake, uh, uh, they're nothing but opportunists. All right. And when you go into that word opportunist, it means a person who exploits circumstances to gain immediate advantage rather than Damn. being guided by the consistent principles or plan. Dang. And that's just true. Mm. That's just true. Jake, took, Jake come to this thing as, as an opportunist, uh, how, they, how they're going to be able to gain in their favor. You know, instead of taking advantage of the truth for what it is to save your soul. Mm hmm. Mm. Damn. Going right back to um James 1 and 21. Receive with meekness, then graft the word, which is able to save your soul, man. Jake coming this thing trying to get rich, man. Coming up with get rich schemes. You see? Mm -hmm. You got you got it's getting real bold. That's getting real crazy right about now, man. You got you got um these so-called Israelite leaders, you know what I'm saying, having um marriage counsel with, with other men's wives, man. You know what I'm saying? You saw Sakari that was sitting on that panel, you know what I'm saying, with that um, married woman. You know what I'm yep. saying? So, so if your man ain't ain't, ain't doing good, you know what I'm saying, if he ain't balling, if he ain't got a job and all that, you know what I'm saying? Look at that woman. I can't just hold a man down all my life. I can't just be doing it. I can't be just doing that. No. So, so what you're saying is you you might as well just go on and just hang it up, right? That's going off right there. Metal uh -huh. not in another man's affairs, yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. You know, what a man and his woman got going on within their household, you don't get between that, man. That's and right. And, and first and foremost, you don't counsel another man's woman. That's right. Mm. You don't get no conversation with the next man's wife. 
know what I'm saying? The scripture say, look, look, sit, sit not at all with, the next wife, <clears throat> with another man's woman. Sit not at <clears throat> all. But these are guys that say they perfect. They say they keep the law 100%, though, right? Well, it was a, it's a law, you know what I'm saying? In the scriptures that you're supposed to sit with the next man's woman. Right. Right? But here no. you go, you know what I'm saying, sitting down with the next man's wife, counseling her, asking her questions on if a man, you know what I'm saying, lose his job, or if he six figures and all this, that, and the third, if he ain't helping out with the bills, what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Mm, 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 I got a priest. Uh, Rob, would you finish with that, bro? No, I'm finished with that. I got a quick one right quick. This is um, no. St. Luke chapter 17. Either one of y'all can get it. If you want to, or either I can get it, don't matter. St. Luke chapter 17, verse 10. So likewise, <laughs> ye, when you shall have done, you, you, you got something, bro? And uh, Ron was pointing me like, you grab it. I'm like, oh, me? Me? Okay. <laughs> St. Luke chapter 17, verse 10. So likewise, ye, when you shall have done all those things which are commanded you. Mm. Yeah, when you have done, what, what's what's the, the 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 thing that the Lord commands of us to do, man? Like we've been breeding, feed the flock. Right. You know, you know that's 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 our uh, main objective, man. Right. That's, you know, when we wake up in the morning, you know, for, you know, speaking myself first and foremost, I'm thinking of uh, what lesson title can I come into? You know, well, let me look what look, what news break and happen overnight right. so I can help warn mm -hmm. if or feed and warn the flock. That's right, bro. I know as soon as I hop out, well, it seems like sometime before I go to bed, the Lord will put a thought on my head and I might write it down or I might right. not write it down. But then as soon as I get up, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, just said, I'm thinking mm -hmm. of what topic or what scriptures I can bring out to feed the mm -hmm. flock. Because look, because we want to do it, brothers. That's right. We want to do something. We want to mm -hmm. do something for the Lord, man. We don't feel right if we don't do nothing for the Lord, man. Because the Lord has done everything for us and still doing it, man. You see, we already know we can't pay the Lord back, but we try to do our due diligence to, to, to show them how much we appreciate what, what they have done for us, man. That's right. the only thing we can do at the end of the day is show them how much we want it and how much we appreciate it, man. That's right. And you show the Lord, no sense, faith without works is dead. You, you show the Lord that you appreciate it by what you do, the actions that you take. You see, we rehearse the righteous laws to the best of our ability. <laughs> we uh -huh. flock with, with brotherly is on no wet, man. You see? I mean, all the above, man. I'm going to read on for the brother, though. Yeah. Say, say, we are unprofitable servants. Because at the end of the day, what, what, you know, we're still not, uh, 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 you know, profitable. All right. What we're doing is not, a, it's still not enough, man, for what the Lord has done and mm -hmm. it, and is going to do for us, man, the kingdom. Right. Man. We can't do enough. Right. We, 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 we will burn ourselves to death, man. All right. Shit, we, we pretty much wish that we ain't have to work, no sense, so we could put in more work. You see? Right. But but we know we in hell right about now. We're in captivity, and we got to keep a roof over our head through the spirit of how but Shemel shot. We got to keep the lights on and the water running. Mm -hmm. But soon come, all that's going to be done away with. You're not going to, because they're going to shut the gas off soon come. You see? Yep. They're going to shut the water off soon come. It's going to be some stinking um, tails walking around here soon mm -hmm. come, man. Straight up, man. It's gonna be some stinking tails running around here, man. Deodorant mm -hmm. ain't gonna be able to hide that funk. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Word I call you funkadelic, man. Straight up, man. But the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna make it a way, you know what I'm saying, to where the men of the Lord are well taken care of. You see? Mm -hmm. It says, it says, we have done that which was our duty to do. Yeah, we have done what we came to the realize in the spirit, through the spirit and part you have by Shimon. This was our duty. All right, this 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 was our main goal in life. All right, was to do the will and the works of the Lord. You know, we are spiritual chefs, man. And a, and a chef is not appreciated till he's gone. And so a lot of our people, man, look, they don't take heed to this the, these spiritual chefs. Talk about had apostles and elders on down. Hey, look, man, be a rap for him, man. This, this, I got this, the this, definition this. for the word duty. Whenever you finish Done. speaking, Done. you ready for me to bring it out? Yes, sir. It says um duty. It's a it's a um so now a moral or legal or legal obligation. And in this sense, it's moral. All right. It's moral what we're doing, man. Right. Because the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So Lord willing, we some of those men coming back in the reincarnation, still feeding, man. 
you know, when you, you know, personally, you know, when I cook a meal and, you know, I see the smile on, on, on the person's face who I'm cooking it for, it, it, it makes me feel good, man. How much more is truth, man? When you feed in the flock, you see fruit come in, you know? The water mm -hmm. Yahweh Shimia was shot. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashimia was shot, man. Oh, yeah. And it's and it's an obligation too, because you look up the definition for the word obligation, it mm -hmm. reads um a duty or commitment. Mm -hmm. And look, you, know, uh, uh, you, you want to, you gotta I, I gotta preach up because slacky. Go ahead. I gotta preach up going into what the brother Hawaii just said, but when you're done, slack it. You got it, bro. Bring it out. Con, con. Um First, and the point is in 17, 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, because all the glory goes to your house by streaming our shot, man. You know, the Lord said he could raise up stones. Mm -hmm. All right. We're, 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 we're you know, uh, what's the saying? Happier than a pig in, in crap. Right. We do the word, right yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To be doing the will of your how about Shimia was shot, man. Because at least the Lord has bestowed life upon us, man. He didn't have to put this life upon us, man. He could have put it on, on, on your cousin. Okay, put on you could have put on your brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh 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 the, the guy that used to bully you. Whatever. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Read again from the top of the show. Con. First Corinthians 9 and 16 says. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. Yeah, though we preach the, the good news, because that's what gospel means, we have nothing to glory of, because all glory, honor, and praises go to Yahweh by Shimei mm -hmm. He the one that gave us this truth, man. He the one that gave us this knowledge. Right. The the, the spiritual ingredients, all right, and these these these, these uh, bomb recipes, all right, to feed to feed the hopeful elect, man. That's right. right. It says. For necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Yeah, this is this is a necessity that is uh, laid upon us, man. All right, it it, it 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 is a must, if you must say. Mm -hmm. But destruction, destruction. The scripture says destruction, right? If we don't preach the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, <clears throat> other camps are worrying what why y'all three lessons a week? Why y'all uh uh going out three four hours a, uh, every saturday uh you know look woe unto us if we don't teach the gospel man why y'all ain't coming to our meetings man you know what i'm saying <laughs> why y'all ain't coming to our meetings man we supposed to be having some meetings tonight <laughs> man what y'all come to what you come to our <laughs> meetings man because we need we got a, we got an obligation man to you how about right. shimmy how shot to teach this is our responsibility man okay that's right you see that's right. Verse 17 says, for if I do this willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. And I yeah, just so, want to. Oh, Slack. No, you got it, bro. It's so going to the word uh, committed. The, you know, the Lord entrusted us with, with doing our responsibility. When he called us into the truth, you know, it's, it's our duty. It's our commitment. To serve the Lord and feed his sheep. And if we do it willingly, there's a reward. We'll be a part of the gospel. We'll we'll receive salvation. You know, be crowned by Yahweh Shai Lord willing. Mm -hmm. So there's there's benefits that come with it, but then also too, there's a commitment that the Lord entrusted us in, in performing, which is feeding his sheep. That's right. So it's we in debt, man. We owe the Lord, man. All right. We in debt, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai paid the ultimate price for us, man. We was bought with a price, man. All right. Someone owns us, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Someone owns you, man. All right. The owner of the company mm -hmm. wants us to get to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is our obligation, man. This is our duty. You see? <clears throat> if I may say, it's, it reminds me of that Coke commercial back in the 90s, man. You know, uh, Israel is uh, the Lord's woman. We're considered that calmly uh, uh, a woman, mm -hmm. right? And then you got, you know, Esau, which represents, you know, the heathen, the ultimate of all heathens. Another right? man. Another man mm -hmm. trying to persuade trying to persuade you, right? Right. With his wickedness, his doctrine, all right? And, and what that what that song, what, how, 
I'm not trying to hit that C. I got a man. Right. That's what we're saying. Right. You know, what is, what is Sleazy saying? I'm not trying to hear that, B. Yeah. Right. You know I got a man. What's your man got to do with me? Look, look, our man is on the way. That's why we're crying out. That's why we're screaming right. out there in the dazzle, in the stress, man, crying out, man. That's right. Because if you don't cry out, you're, you're down with the um, wicked act. You're really down with the spiritual right. country, man. That's right. That's right. Another man is trying to lie with us, man. That's right. Our husband is away, man. Lord, you how shy. So we crying out right about now, man. You right, see, right. we're crying out, man. So we won't be found guilty in the act of adultery, man. Sleeping mm -hmm. with another man through the spirit, spiritually, right? That's right. right. And going right back to the um, definition of the word duty, this is our, um, let, me, let me see, um, blah, 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 blah. Our, our responsibility, basically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is This is part of the requirement. You see? For the Lord making us sheep over the flock, this is one of the requirements that we feed the flock. <clears throat> Constantly feeding, man. Constantly mm -hmm. feeding, you know? You got it, bro. I got a precept. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. Um, I'm going to start at the top, and I'm going to jump through it a little bit. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou finest, eat this roll, and go and speak unto the house of Israel. Eat this roll. What is that roll? It's not, it's, not, it's not talking about a buttermilk biscuit either. You know what I'm saying? It's not talking about a roll that you get from KW. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> it's not talking about that kind of roll. This right. is the roll that the Lord told us to eat, man. Okay? Eat this roll. The good and the bitter, man. All right? Mm -hmm. You see? Eat this roll. Eat the whole roll. From mm -hmm. the beginning to the end. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse 2. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat. Right. Up and down, verse 17. Son of what man, that, I have made. What is that mouth? Talks like your bro. What is that mouth talking about? Talking about your mind. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You, that's how you digest this food, this spiritual food, with your mind. It ain't actually talking about ripping the pages. How we look, bro? Ripping the pages of the Bible out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he said, look, he said, eat it, man. He said, uh -huh. eat it. He said, eat the Bible. He said, eat the whole roll, man. This is the roll. <laughs> no, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody digesting it with your mind, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Your belly, you know what I'm saying? Which means your mind. Go That's ahead. Right. Yep, jumping down, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. You got it. Hey, yeah, man. And look, and that's, that's part of feeding the flock. You're warning them of things to come. See, a lot of these other camps <clears throat> are not really going to the warning, all right? Or what's getting ready to happen to our people, man? They're telling them we all got to come together. We all got to support each other. You know, we got to save the black man, the Latino man, all this, that, and the third. We got to get land. Instead of warning them of, of, of Revelation 12 and 12, of the MOTB, of the Revelation 13, many right. other things, man, that's going to come down the pipeline. Yeah, because all hell by the break. I got a preset right quick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is um you was finished with that though, bro. That is it. <clears throat> this is um Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. Mm-hmm. The ancient prophets, okay. Uh you talk about Jeremiah, Isaiah, uh Noah, okay, all different accounts of the prophets that was seen. They prophesied to the Lord's people. No, they gave the, the Lord's people warning. Okay, shalom. Shalom, y'all bash me out, shy brock of thumb. Yeah, bash me out, shy brock of thumb. That's right. Shalom, brethren. God. So, like y'all, Ron, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you good. You good, bro. I'll read it again for you. Jeremiah right. chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. Yeah, prophesied. Prophesied means to tell you before. And the Lord said of prophets, before he destroys the kingdom, he sends forth prophets. To what prophesy tell you the things is gonna happen. He ordained mm -hmm. certain men who already subject, you know, that, that was already set up that he, he created to to you know be his mouthpiece. That's who's right. Bro. The whole role and go out and warn his people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and everyone's gonna be a witness. I got a precept for what you just said. This is Hebrews chapter one, verse one, Yahweh, who has sundry times in I in I, in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so in different times and in different ways the lord sent forth prophets 
many accounts of that throughout the throughout history, throughout the Bible. So why would it be different this time? The scripture said the Lord uh, changed not. That's right. The Lord doesn't change. So yeah, he's going to send you. You're going to see men prophesying before this last wicked sinful kingdom, Babylon the Great, aka America, goes down. You're going to see men out there prophesying in the same spirit the ancient prophets were. That's right, brother. That's right. I got one more for you. This is um Hebrews chapter eleven. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse seven. By faith Noah, being warned of the Most High Yahweh, of mm -hmm. things not seen as yet, mm -hmm. moved with fear. That's right. He, the Lord set up Noah, gave him the gift of faith to believe in the the earth was going to flood because it hadn't rained at the time. Remember, the crops was watered through the dew. Okay, but the Lord gave him faith to believe that this was going to come down the pipeline and then put the spirit of fear on him to go out there and prophesy for what over 120 years. Same spirit the Lord has given us in these times to water you out much now. The apostles of a, a, a great millstone and the men on down. Shit, the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh, he been prophesying. I know, right? He prophesied, he prophesied, I'm saying before it was light, man. You know, see right? what I'm saying? The heavenly mm -hmm. father been prophesying, man. He said, "Let there be light," and there was light, man. He prophesied mm -hmm. of it before it even came to pass, man. He and look, and right here, he's telling you, he's telling us that he warned Noah. He prophesied it to Noah. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. "I'm gonna flood this place," and before it happened, he gave Noah the warning, and Noah mm -hmm. gave the people the warning. Same thing as the apostles, their elders, the men on down doing right now. You see, yep. the true men of the Lord, the scripture is telling you basically which spirit the men of the Lord are going to be coming in. They're going to be right. in the spirit of warning the people. Okay? Right. Watch out for this. Watch out for that. This is coming. That is coming. And and, and though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for it. Though it right. tarry, wait for it. Just like he told um, Noah. Noah prophesied for 120 years, man. Though it tarry, Noah, wait for it. Go keep warning them. Keep warning them. Yeah, yeah, 50 years then went by, you've been warning them, ain't nothing happened. Yeah, 75 years went by, ain't nothing happened, still warning them. Yeah, 100 years went by, nothing ain't happened, keep warning them. 110 years went by, look, look, nothing ain't happened, keep warning them. 115, uh-oh, 120. The warning stopped, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Then the warning eventually stopped. Yep. The yep. warning eventually stopped. So this warning is going to eventually stop, man. That's right. Yeah, how about you outside? It's gonna take his men off the streets, and the warning is gonna cease. Mm -hmm. You see, and then the prophecies, the vision is gonna speak loud and clear. Right. You see, the vision is gonna speak loud and clear, louder than we have ever known it to speak, man. And the right. only thing you gonna hear after that is boom, 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 right. boom, 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 boom. Yep. That that I told you so, moment is right around the corner, brothers. Mm hmm. By faith, by faith, Noah, being one of the most high, Yahweh, of things not seen as yet. Mm -hmm. Move with fear. Mm -hmm. prepared, and, prepared and art to the saving of his house. Yeah, because he knew a flood was coming. He, he had the faith to believe that. He prepared his house. He got his house in order. Right. Physically being, building that ark. And, and what, what are we doing spiritually building that ark? Getting that house in order. Right. No, trying to be uh trying to be a, a fin least as possible with the Lord, man. We don't right. want to be on the Lord's wrong side, man. Okay. Hey, look, bro, and bro, it's most definitely gonna take faith now. Uh, yep. This spiritual arc is being built now, though, say, because when a carnal physical arc was being built, our people didn't believe. believe. Uh -huh. So most so most definitely the Lord had to give us the spirit of faith, you know what I'm saying? The gift, you know what I'm saying, of faith to believe in something right. that we don't see. You see. Right, and then you got everybody worried about numbers. Well, it ain't that many men in Great Millstone. You carnal though. I know, right? You carnal though. You see, a spiritual man judges all things. With everything that's going on, we can we can tell through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai that the elect is being sealed on a rapid pace, man. Facts. Because look, because now we're starting to enter into World War Three now. But yep. before World War III actually kick off, you no know saying get um boom, 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 boom. They gotta make it mandatory, you no know saying that they, they, they make it mandatory of the, the M-A-R-K to the beast. And we're right. starting to see videos of them coming out with this different technology. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. Showing us that the dollar is about to get crashed down. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and right. a new system, a new wave is about to come in. Look, man, the salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. Right. You see. 
That's why we move with fear. The Lord put his spirit on us to move with fear. That's why that's why brothers constantly doing videos, man. And they're, they're coming in the same spirit as Noah, man. And that's right. the spirit you want to have. You, you don't want you don't want to be lukewarm. You know right. what I'm saying? You don't want to be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. This is um read the last little part. Uh he moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house mm -hmm. by the which he condemned the world. Yep, condemn the world, man. Going into condemning Israel for their wicked acts, you know, not wanting to repent, not wanting to seek the Lord. In the meantime, preparing his house and getting ready. But you know, he had a, he understood he had a job to do. He understood that he had to prophesy and warn the people of the flood. The vision that the Lord gave him raised him up to do his work. So understanding the prophets, the Lord always sent forth prophets before he destroys that kingdom. You know, so we're seeing that in these times, it's clear. The scriptures say, "The eyes shall see the teacher." You're gonna see the prophets on the on the street corners, going to the highways and byways, warning the people. It's gonna be controversy. They're gonna be That's speaking right. against that kingdom, telling that telling the people that the kingdom is getting ready to go down through war, evil, pestilence, all those things, man. That's right. See, one thing about Noah, he understood that it's gonna be a whole lot of unbelievers. He understood that every Israelite was going to take heed to the words that was being spoken. I got a quick precept. This is I got one. I got one to ask you. Cut. You want to read yours first? What's up, you, bro? What's up to you, bro? Bring it is, uh, Ezekiel 3 and 26, because we're talking about them not getting this word. It said, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover. But they are a rebellious house. And then our people hear the word dumb, no saying they think it's a um a dude, duh, duh, duh. Nah, no saying the word dumb means means mute. Pretty uh -huh. much it's not saying that the Lord says he's gonna make our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth, meaning you're not gonna be speaking. That day is fastly approaching, brothers. You know what I'm saying? To where it's gonna be a family of the word. And these people are gonna really bug the hell out, man. You see, the people, because look, people want answers now. Yep. Why is gas so high? Why is this? Why is that? Well, the answers are here. Yep. The answer to all your questions is, is in this book right here. You see this book right here? It's in here, man. But Jake, like, nah, it don't. My, my, my questions can't be answered with that book. Mm -hmm. only, only Sleazy E can answer my questions. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he's the ruler and the master of the universe. Come on, man. That man going to answer your question with, with falsehood, with lies. We're going to answer your question with the truth, man. And look, and, and though it may hurt, you know what I'm saying, it's the truth, though, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to let you know, according to the Bible, all these things must come to pass. Your gas supposed to rise up. The water right. bill, the light bill, the rent, all that chaos, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, all the above, it's supposed to be happening. And you don't want to hear that. Right. You don't want to hear that because you're living comfortable right about there. You probably got a good job. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Jake out here getting paid, too, man. Mm -hmm. up, man. It's some Israelites yep. out here in captivity getting paid like a mob, man. I don't think about that. But the Lord yet. like you the damn wrath, it ain't gonna save you if you ain't got yep. your knowledge. Then you got brothers in the faith, no saying they got good jobs, whatever, but it's it's the benefit, no saying, and to um, uphold the, their ministry. You yep. know what I'm saying? And right. of course I got it real fast if you want it. And, and of course, yeah, you can bring it up, and of course they're self or whatever. But we know the end all be it all. We don't put our uh, we don't we don't put all our eggs in that basket right there. That's no right. Saying? We already got our eggs in a basket, and it's Yahweh by Shimei you know? We know right, we're going right. to lose everything, so come. These people are scared of losing everything because they don't think nothing else is going to be better after it, right? Yeah, that's right. Bring See, your precept pre goodbye, and then go back to the other one that you had, and then I want to be mine. You made a good point, Hawaii, because the reason why they don't want to they, they don't want to lose the thing is that's what makes them. Right. Those mm -hmm. things make, make Jake the cars, the clothes, yep. the houses, you know? But this is what makes us, man. Right. So look, everything in perfect balance. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah, bro. You made a beautiful point. Yeah, because when they lose that, they go back to really being nobody. Because they really yep. are nobody right about now. But the cars, the clothes, the holes, the money and all that, the diamond rings, you know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. makes them seem like somebody. Mm -hmm. But there was already, there was never anybody anyway before they got those things, you see? Yeah. When the Lord bless us with certain things, it, it, it enhances what we already are. You know what I'm saying? You see, the things, material things don't make us. You know what I'm saying? Right. You see, you got it, bro. It's uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. There you go. Riches is not going to profit. Oh, good. You got it. You got it. 
Mm-hmm. You got, yeah, like like the brother who I was going to, you got a lot of Jakes, man. I was thinking about that earlier. Hey, man, they, they done came up, especially during this whole <laughs> pandemic, man. They done came up, man. They, they running up numbers, but they don't realize that soon come the dollar's going to crash. And they're going to be, um, you know, the rap, this, this uh, money's not going to save you. Right. You know, the Lord's going to make it to where you're going to have to go to the prophets, man, because the scriptures say the servant's going to eat. That's the right. The servant's going to have all the resources necessary to survive. And the Lord is going to starve everybody else out if you're not part of the elect. So these riches, all these Jakes have, the houses, the cars, the money, that's not going to save you. You're right. seeking your help by Shimei was shy, getting your house in order, repenting, calling on the true names, you know, keeping the laws to the best of your ability to show your obedience, you know, taking heed to the Lord's prophets, man, is, is, is you know, ultimately taking heed to your help by Shimei was shy. Right. Was going to keep you safe, you know? And the phone keep chiming in too. Time. Plus, the scripture tells us, uh, "Trust not in uncertain riches." That's right. You got it one day, and the next day you ain't got shit, man. One day you got money in your pocket, but the scriptures tell us we earn wages. It's like putting um, money in a pocket with holes in it. Mm-hmm. You see? Before you even get the money, it's already you no know, saying somebody already wanted already, man. Mm-hmm. You see? Go ahead, Kabad. Hey, Ezekiel, the seventh, seventh chapter tells you that gold and silver shall they cast out in the streets. Yep. You know, it's not going to deliver them from the wrath of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing. Right. That's right, brother. <clears throat> so uh, that was it in Proverbs. Um, You, you say you had a precept, right? Or that was it? That was it. That was it. Go back to that other scripture that you had, though. It was a scripture that you was reading. I forgot which one it was. It was before the um Shalom. Shalom, Elder. Yeah. It was the one it was the one before Proverbs eleven and four, I believe. Oh yeah, Ezekiel three. Ezekiel three. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Ezekiel three down at the bottom. Con, this is Ezekiel three and twenty six. Yeah. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Right, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover. Right, for they- no more correctly. You know, the Lord said He chastens those who He loves. So, mm-hmm. once you how about Shemel Shah ain't reproving you no more, aka correcting you no more, you good as grass, then man. You good as grass, man. Straight up, man. You know, mm-hmm. go ahead. It says Ezekiel 3 and 26 for they are a rebellious house. Right. Talking about the Israelites, two turrets. They're rebellious, man. They always fighting against the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Hosha. Rebels, man. Rebels without a cause, man. But the Lord got something for, for all rebellious people, man. And it's called judgment. Mm-hmm. I got I got two quick precepts. I want to read this right quick. But matter of fact, I read this um Proverbs 11 and 4 for either one of y'all that don't even matter. Proverbs, was that the end of the Kabbalah? Mm-hmm. I mean, that was pretty much the point. Okay, cool. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 4. Richest prophet not in the day of mm-hmm. wrath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the brother yeah. just brought that spirit right there. The brother just brought that yeah. one out. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, your money's not going to save you. You know, your status, all what you know, all the, the, the gifts you're getting in this uh, wicked society is not going to save you. If you're not protected under your house by Shemia Mashai, you're done. And these people are going to see that come soon. They're going to realize that all the, their carnal riches can't do nothing for them, man. But it's like, yeah, here's like, you know what I'm saying, after the bag, you know what I'm saying, um, like you said, um, the cash apps, and what's the other, the Patreon, Patreon and all yep. that. I guess they haven't read that scripture right there, though, bro. Mm-hmm. I guess they don't remember how pissed off the Lord was when they made uh, uh, merchandise, merchandise of his father's house, bro. I guess they forgot about all that, right? They forgot about how mad the Lord is coming back, right? He's coming back angry. He's coming back full of wrath. He's coming back with destruction. I guess Jake forgot all about that, right? So let's just so let's just go ahead and play around with the Lord's word. Let's let's, let's go to break it down wrong. Let's lead the uh, the sheep um um astray. Mm-hmm. Just let, let the wolves de- devour the sheep, right? When the Lord says, look, look, take care of the sheep until I come back, man. The Lord has made us shepherds over his flock, over his heritage, man. The chief shepherd is on his way, though, man. We re- read, read that, bro. Yeah. Just keeping up with the Kardashians, Kim keeping Kardashian. up with the Kardashians and their underground bunker. They ain't gonna save you either. Oh yeah, brothers, <laughs> brought that out, out yeah. on, a, on a lesson yesterday. I think. What yeah. 
Elder, elders did a lesson on it. Yep. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's why I got it. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Look, look, all that stuff that these people are stocking up and all that. It's in the phone chime in. Everything that they the phone chime in, like I don't know what to, man. Every time you say something at the phone, like ding, 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 ding. Look, man. Everything that these people stock up, these um preppers and all that it's for the men of the lord man lord will we of that number everything yep. that they stocking up there the can good and they stocking up some lovely stuff man lord yeah. will we yeah. of that yeah. number man they stocking up some good stuff man and look these these um billionaires and millionaires guess what they're guess what they're stocking up brothers real water oh yeah real food oh yeah brothers they ate real food since we've been on the earth this time you see but lord will we of that number we get ready to drink some fresh water brothers Lord mm-hmm. willing, the Lord, I'm saying, lead us to the underground bunkers. Mm-hmm. Right, you see, non non perishable things, brothers. Yep. Them days yep. coming, man. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Look, sleazy, close the grocery store down. Close it down. You see, <laughs> make make the gas thirty dollars a gallon. Make it that, man. We don't give a damn. We don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Right. Close the grocery stores down. Close all the jobs down. You see. Close all the restaurants down. Stop the buses from running. Stop the yep. planes from flying. We don't give a damn sleaze to eat because we're going to eat, man. That's right. I got something. Not in the damn rap. We say you got somebody want to say something? Yeah, right. I, I got some. Let me finish the rest of this talk about slacky. Uh, yeah, slacky, slacky, slacky. No, you good, bro? Proverbs chapter eleven. We having fun. You know what I'm saying Proverbs chapter eleven, verse four. Riches profit not in the damn rap, but righteousness mm-hmm. delivered from death. Yeah, righteousness delivered from death. When you when you're seeking after the ways of the Lord and you're putting forth your best effort, the Lord is going to uh, you know hear your prayers. He's going to hear your cries. And look, that's <laughs> what we're, we're in the times where you know the hopeful elect is crying and praying unto the Lord to be protected, you no, know, to be hid in the times of of this destruction. That right. And, Lord, and we'll skip say um the the prayers of the righteous pierce the clouds. So the Lord is hearing the the prayers of the righteous. If you want to be delivered from death. Your number one priority should be seeking your how about you shot? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. I was gonna look, and then I'm going right back to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. The Lord said, This gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then shall the end come. How much closer are we to the end, brothers? You know what I'm saying? This gospel that went man, by way of the unicorn. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm right. saying? The satellites, this gospel everywhere, man. This gospel is in places that we couldn't even fathom it to be, man. Mm-hmm. Straight up, man. It's Jake's everywhere, man. Uh, do you know they always coming on the comment board, Shalom, bro? Um, um, mm-hmm. um you have about shot from, from the land of such and such. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in I'm in this part of the earth. We like what? They mean that builds mm-hmm. our spirit, so that hypes us up even more, man. Mm-hmm. That makes us want to go even harder, man. Because once again, like the Lord said, my word don't go out void. Mm-hmm. So, so look, we're on the internet right about now. Yeah, it, we see 41 people watching, but what if it's 4,100? I know, right? You know what I'm saying? What if it's mm-hmm. 41,000? Yep. You know what I'm saying? This, this is how the Lord is working, man. Plus, the Lord mm-hmm. don't want everybody to get the word. Now, everybody right. might hear the word, but the Lord don't want them to receive it mm-hmm. and retain it. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and, and convert and be healed, you know? Mm-hmm. It's on, y'all. Mm. <clears throat> this is... Uh... Psalms 37 and 25, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor is he begging bread. There you go. Another example. No, the righteous will be delivered from death, uh, these perils, the, the wrath the Lord is bringing. And King David said, you know, he's been young and he's been old. He's never seen the righteous uh, left out, you know, starving out, no protection, no food. Mm-hmm. We're going to see these miracles performed and given <clears> favor, <throat> favor will be shown and given to the elect. That's, that's right, why bro. we're fighting now to be a part of that number. Those of us that are sincere. And we pray the Lord keep that spirit on us because we know somebody's going to receive mercy, man. That's so right. Bring destruction without bringing mercy to a, a certain number. The scripture says is, is the remnant, the elect. Yep. I'm going to la- I'm going to land back off. It. No, no. I'm just going to say, um, well, say what you got to say first, bro. That was what land back off the brother because you know these car trashians and all these right. other uh, 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 <laughs> elites, you know, there's they're, they're getting these uh, 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 bunkers and things of that nature. But um, <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought, man. Yeah, car trashians, man. I know. I was just going. I was just going on land back off with the brother. I was saying too, man. Look, yeah. mercy is getting ready to get shown to somebody. You know what mm. I'm saying? 
And, it, and it's a beautiful thing, man. The Lord is allowing us to break down these scriptures the right way, man, and feed the flock. And the Lord has given us hope, man. Right. The Lord has given us hope in Babylon, the land of confusion, the land of weariness, the valley of the shadow of death. The Lord has given us hope. This devil is starting to put the squeeze on this place, man, which is really the Lord. Yep. It's really the Lord. That's why the Lord says, seek me while I may be found. Call ye upon me while I'm near, man. The Lord's putting a squeeze on this place, man. Now the Lord's going <coughs> to squeeze the life out of this place now, man. You see? The Lord is getting to make it hard for the average person walking around America to get natural resources. It's going to be hard for them to get toothpaste. It's going to be hard for them to find a toothbrush. It's going to be hard for them to find some soap, some tissue to wipe their stinking ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around here with chunky, chunky butt. <laughs> Mud butt, right? Sean, man. Sean, man. <laughs> hey, look, man. It's going. Hey, look, and we were rejoicing right about them, man. Yeah. Look, it's it's getting ready to be scary. You know what I'm saying? It's getting ready to be real suspenseful. Suspenseful. <laughs> it's going to be things happening that we, 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 we can't. Um, I mean, you don't, you don't know what's coming down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that faith is what's going to get us through, though, man. Right. It's right. not as we well understand the scriptures, what's going to keep us stable, man. Right. Hey, man, we live in, look, we in the, um, the most um, beautiful spot, you know what I'm saying, ever known to mankind, yo. Ooh. Up under the umbrella of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. It don't get no better than this, man. man. The, position, the position that we're in right about now, man, we got to constantly beg <laughs> Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to leave us here, man. Mm -hmm. up, man. No matter what suffering we go through, and no matter what we lose, as long as we in this uh, in this gospel in this truth, man, look, man, it's the best place to be, man. That's right. You got it. I had a pre the, the Lord brought it back to me through all the y'all about shot. Uh, uh, because what you know, like I said, Chloe Kardashian, all those elites, what they're doing is is is, is the wisdom of the world. Yeah. Right. Like First Corinthians three and nineteen, it says, "For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with with God, with the Most High." They thinking that that's going to save them. They thinking that's going to deliver them in the times of trouble, because you could at the end of the day, that's that's them using their money to save them. You know what I mean? We can't afford no bunkers. We can't afford none of that madness. Right. You know, but that's what they're going to uh, 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 look for to save them. That's that. But that wisdom is vain. Mm hmm. That 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 wisdom that they're they're stocking up and believing in is vain is going to fail them, because mm -hmm. it's not the wisdom of 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 the scriptures, man. Of your how about me? I was shot. Right. Hey, bro, I, I must be allowed to bring out this precept. Uh, beautiful point that you made, man. The underground bunkers with all that damn food, all that water, batteries, the same flashlights, you name it, draws, socks, socks and draws and all. Man, they ain't gonna be able to save you, man. Listen to this, Saint Matthew four and four. But he answered and said. Lord Yahweh Shai, written in red, who equally called Jesus, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. That's right, man. So if you're living off the carnal things, man, you're through. That's right. You're through, because this, 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 these days we're living in, it's, it's all about the spirit, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Taking heed to these, these, these spiritual words that are being spoken by our head apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, the, the, the true breakdowns of the scriptures. Cause you gotta think, you gotta think. What got the men of the Lord uh, from the ancient times through hard times where they didn't have no no food? The word, man. Right. The right. word. You read different accounts of men of the Lord going forty <laughs> days without food, man. Forty days and forty nights without food. The Lord said, "You ain't gonna live by bread alone, man. You you need more than bread to live out here, man. Right. But but by every word, every word, man, every word." Which every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. What's the words of the Most High? This word. And That's who's right. the mouthpiece of the Most High? His men, the prophets, man. This is how we live, man. This is what quickened us, man. Not no lamb dinner. A lamb dinner didn't yeah. quicken us, man. You right. See, a steak dinner, some grapes, some bananas, which are my favorites. That that ain't what quickened me, man. Right. You see? And them Latin meals that Kabbalah be eating, you know what I'm saying? That didn't quicken us, man. This word here, yeah, man. It's going to say the, um, the flesh profit of nothing. Those people, those conditions, they're thinking fleshly. They're thinking yep. carnally. They're not thinking mm -hmm. spiritual. Everybody's throwing up all this damn food. There ain't nothing wrong with gathering up a little bit of food and a couple of um, bottles of water or whatever. But look, look, we're not going on a carnal route. We're taking a spiritual route, man. Like it, like it says, um, there's a new saying that brother's saying through the spirit. When the going gets tough, 
the tough get spiritual. You see, mm. all hell breaking loose, loose right about now. We're thinking more <laughs> in the spirit, man. That's why right. the Lord always had me constantly pray, you know, saying to be more spiritual and carnal. You see, because right. it's easy to get carnal, right or wrong, brothers. That's right. Oh, yeah. But to remain spiritual, you know, saying it's harder, man. That's why we're that's why we're rehearsing it right now. We were mm -hmm. we this more right about now because the Lord get ready to really, you know, what I'm saying test our, our faith, man. You see, that's right. But yeah, I did that, that you uh, you made a good uh, point combined about the Kardashians and not just them, but they the latest ones in the news. Is look, it, why, I'm not gonna show you that I got an underground bunker. Well, I mean, that's calling that's calling right. Look, that's the knowledge of the world, too. That's the yep, wisdom yep. of the world is to tell all your damn business. I'm not telling you all my business. I don't want you to know mm -hmm. where I stay. I don't yep. know, I don't want you to know where I work at. I don't want you to know how much I get paid. I don't want you to know how much I make an hour. I don't want you to know when I get paid or none of that. All right. But these right. people let everybody know everything about them, man. Yep. Yep. I got me an underground bunker and look at all this stuff that I got stocked in here. What? Right. What? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Y'all got it, bro. And I got I got two <laughs> precepts too. I got I got one backing okay. you up. Uh -huh. It's real got fast. You. Uh this is a rock 15, the points in three. It says, he that feared the Lord would do good, and he that have knowledge of the law shall obtain her. And as a mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife, married of a virgin. Here's the point. Verse 3, with bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him water of wisdom to drink. You see? Because man is supposed to live off, off, off these words, man. Right. right. And the, the word is, is, is also represented as, as, as water. Bread and water, man. Yeah. And in the times that we're living in, you're going to need the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures to go out and get you some bread and some water. Yeah. You see? You're going to know. Man, these scriptures teach you how to make moves, man. These teach mm -hmm. these scriptures teach you how to be wise as a serpent. You know what I'm yep. saying? Teach you how to creep. You know what I'm saying? Teach you how to maneuver through this wicked system, man. Yep. You see? You can just run out there. Like the grocery store is being um, over, overran, you know what I'm saying, by thugs, criminals, with gas and all that. You're not going to that store. You see, but a fool, a blockhead, be like, man, I gotta go get something, man. My baby mom getting on my damn nerves, and you run over there and try to get something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, this yep. wisdom is gonna tell us and teach us which direction to go, man. We gotta trust in the Lord with everything, man. You know what I'm saying? That's man. right. You got, you got it, bro. That was it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. You want, got to, it. Right now. You want to say something wrong? Yeah, I want to. Can I bring my precept out right quick? Yeah, bring it out, brother. Uh, Sirach 5 and 7 says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and right. put not off from day to day. <clears throat> For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Want to bring that down, Ara? Come, yeah, I'm, I'm about to select it. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. So these people are relying on their underground bunkers, their money and all these different things to save them. And it's not. That's why the scriptures say, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Because the only security that you're going to have is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, that uh, that strong tower. That's right. Okay, that refuge in the time of perils. So, it's, as it says, in, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Hey. Perish in the day of vengeance. So, these things which are deemed as security in the world, it, it can only go but so far. Remember, this world is getting ready to perish. And all mm -hmm. these, these uh, trunkets, these benefits that come with this world is going to perish with it. That's right. So you can't be saved, you know, you, you can't be saved um, by your by your carnal things, you know, like the brothers going into the bunker, underground bunkers, the money, you know, the status. All right. And then you go up under that underground bunker, then some damn, some damn, some damn um, a mountain fall on top of it. Hell and yeah, yeah, you in there, you alive or whatever, but then you can't get out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you just been eating real good for, for the last couple of months, about about five, six, seven months. You just been eating love, love, but now food getting low, and you can't even get out your underground bunker. Mm -hmm. That's saying you know, you end up having a damn heart attack up in there. <laughs> <laughs> you end up worrying yourself to death, but you and your not the underground bunker still look nice. You got the paintings on the wall, you probably know right. saying you got some little music in there. No, I'm saying you enjoy yeah. yourself, but now you start to bug the hell out there. No, I'm saying because you're in the underground bunker and you mm -hmm. trap, you can't get out. No, I'm saying right. you, you, that was a food, but you now, now you don't want the food. Now you want to get out in there, so now you're yep. just walking around pacing back and forth. Yep. And then the thing about it, you ain't you in there by your damn self. Yep. So you know that's gonna drive you crazy. 
You would start yeah. talking to yourself, asking yourself questions. What, what should I do? I don't know. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> Think of the volleyball pay <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's, it's go, it's go, and look, these are these are things that's going to happen, man. Okay. The Lord got us saying these things for a reason because it's all going to happen, man. Right? Or you, or you, or, or no, <coughs> no don't, don't fall on your underground bunker, but you end up having a heart attack before you even get to the underground bunker. If somebody <laughs> and a man of the Lord walk past you and they see some keys in your hand, you know what I'm saying in your hand, you 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 like probably like five, ten steps, you know what I'm saying from your underground bunker, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know. And then with the, key, the keys in your damn hand, you know what I'm saying? And look, man, and, and we, we see it, Lord, one or the other. And I'm like, damn. Yeah, no, right. It's trying to get. And look, you got book bags down there and everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Fill man. a little book bag up, eat something, just like on that movie, The Road, and then haul ass, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One quick question. Oh, Rob, would you finish with that, bro? Oh, I'm I'm yep. Now, just, just one quick one, Kabat. Yep. Hebrew, yep. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's right, man. And Deuteronomy tells you, we're all, Deuteronomy 32nd chapter tells you that we are, we're all in the hands of the Lord, man. All right. That's why it's, it's, it's a very fearful thing. Jake should be walking on eggshells in these latter days, man. Yep. Right. You know, but Jake, well, Jake got cliques walking on eggs out here, you know? You know, they, right. they, they, just, they, just, they just don't care what you have about shipping out with shot, man. That's right. And then when judgment comes upon them or their family, then what? You know? I love it, bro. That's um, that's a wonderful point. It's like with all hell breaking loose, it ain't gonna be no more concerts for the rappers. You know and I'm saying these different R and B singers and entertainers to make money. Then what? Yep. Because because remember, you know what I'm saying uh, right now, one know everybody knows. Like um, Dave Chappelle. I think no, nah, it won't Dave Chappelle. It was um, Day Day made that little skit about the Hebrew Israelites. Oh, yeah. And all these rappers saying they the Hebrew Israelites, but they never repented. Yep. Only thing they were doing was checking the bags. Um, um, Kendrick Lamar said, I got money to get. Yeah, I know the God of the Bible, but I got money to get. Now, yo, the Lord's about to stop your money. Then what? Nope. The Lord about to stop everybody's money. These women with these um business um accounts and got their own businesses and things of that nature. <laughs> the Lord about to shut everything down, man. Like um, like the elder Manassas, like Bob was saying in his lesson, phones are about to start ringing, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if the phones ain't on, you know what I'm saying a nigga can find you. They, they can, bro. They're gonna find you, bro. They're oh, gonna yeah. find out where you stay, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna find out where you work. They're gonna find for some somehow they're gonna find out, man. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna get rejected in that day, right? Mm -hmm. You got I got I got two precepts. Read what you got though. One of y'all said y'all had something, right? Okay. Go ahead, Kabat. Uh, well, I got two since you said something. This is uh for them rappers, them entertainers. Right, this is uh, Sirach five and four. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering; He will no wise let thee go. Mm -hmm. You so see, saying, though, though a sinner, um, uh, how's it go? Though a Do sinner, one hundred times. There you go with the water, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, He would know in no way. You know, the Lord is going to forget about him. Or you know, I'm roughly paraphrasing. You know, you got all these different uh, celebrities speaking, particularly about Jake. How they've done some wicked things, man, to to you know make money or have whatever status in society, thinking the Lord forgot about it. No, the Lord ain't forget about it. All the things you did, the robins is still in corruption you committed, the wicked acts you've done. Mm -hmm. this, this is payback. The Lord is getting ready to bring vengeance on all of his enemies. And that includes you two-third ninjas, man. That's right. I got what I got you called for, Raw. Time. I got it right here. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And it reads, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, they, they're so prideful because they haven't received judgment right away for their wicked acts. You know, they, they, they might have done some, you know, I don't even want to mention them, but different things they've done in, in Hollywood, Hollywood. Right, okay. right. Different things they've done, uh, corruption, sleeping with, you know, the next man's baby mama doing some wickedness, man. And because mm -hmm. the Lord ain't judging for it yet, they got in their mind. They, they got so prideful and so comfortable with thinking that they can get away with these things. Right. They continue to commit these acts. That's right. Though yeah. a sinner. Um, you want to say something, bro? You finish? Oh, no, I was agree. I'm like, yep, yep. Okay. 
Uh, Though a sinner do evil in a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High. Yeah, it's going to be well with those who fear you, how about you, Shai, because when you fear the Lord, you have wisdom and understanding not to offend him. Right. You're going to obey him, um, which is well pleasing to him. That's so right. The Lord, the Lord can prolong your life if you're being wicked, wicked and you don't want to seek him. He can prolong your life and reserve you for, for this destruction that's coming up. That's right. Well, a lot of these people are going, going to be deleted soon because the Lord is literally reserving them for this point in time. That's right. That's right, bro. Which fear before him, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Yeah, it's not going to be well with the wicked. The Lord, it's good to say that the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, beholding the evil and the good. You know, the angels of the Lord has given a report to all the people that each and every human being here on the face of the earth and what they're doing, every person. That's right. You know? Every person, every day, every hour, every second, every minute, the reports mm -hmm. are going up, man. You see, whether it be good or whether it be bad, the reports are going up, man. And you always want your good to outweigh your bad. Facts. You always want your good to outweigh your bad, you see? Mm -hmm. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither yep. shall he prolong you. you got it. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are mm -hmm. as a shadow, because he feareth not before the most high. Yep, and the Lord's gonna make a lot of examples of people. We're gonna really see a lot of gruesome, horrific examples of how not to be. You know, a lot of people that were a lot of our people that were disobedient, who mocked and scoffed against the word, who fanned their hands, didn't want to repent didn't want to take heed, they're going to be destroyed with these heathens. And we're going to see a lot of these examples in this time. Scripture say their, their, their bodies shall be as dung upon the ground. That's There's right, bro. So many deleted people. You, you, there's not going to be any burial services or a time to lament. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to show how important it was to fear him because everything is going to go back to glorifying and fearing your by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's going to start with major judgment and examples of that in these times. No fucking flowers. Now we're gonna say no flowers, no casket, no um fucking uh um, hearse. No right. saying no no <laughs> no reeds, no nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Just straight shit on the ground. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. And like the brothers Ara said, you ain't gonna have time to cry, man. You're gonna right. be fearful for your life, man. You're gonna have time to cry. You're gonna see the person dead, you're gonna and you're gonna haul ass, man. <laughs> it'll be hauling ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing they gonna be able to do, man. Mm -hmm. It's all ass, man. You remember, um, the day of the Lord is like fleeing from a lion, man, and then running nope. into a bear and yeah. getting away. And these are all vicious creatures, you know what I'm saying? Nope. These are not creatures that you want to meet up with in the alley, you know what I'm saying? All right. Right. All right. These are not creatures that you like, hey, how you doing? Hell no, mm -hmm. man. You're trying to get out of Dodge and you get away from these different situations. That's saying you know you think you're somewhat sick, but that's saying you know you end up in a house full of cannibals. Mm -hmm. Look, look, and, and the door is locked to where the only way you can get out is from the outside. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> these people in trouble, man. <coughs> I, got, I got two after y'all finish doing what y'all gotta do. I got um two precepts. We'll bring out a couple more scriptures. And I know brothers got to know saying get ready. Well, it's 852. Uh, brothers can still enjoy the rest of the night. We'll bring out a couple more scriptures. Any more articles or anything brothers want to bring out? Let's go to um, get it done and then wrap it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Con, I, want, I, want, I want to back you brothers up what you were just was talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs 10 and I'll start at 27. It says, the fear of the Lord prolong of days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And look, going back to Romans, the sixth chapter, the wages of sin is death. All right. That's all that <laughs> that's all that Jake is doing out here, man. And here it is, we're telling them for their benefit, for their good. You know, repent, put those things back, turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shai, take heed to the wisdom, you know, which is able to save your souls. And they they just like the hell with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, one Jake told me, I got to die something, right? Damn. You know? That's pride right there, remember? Um, pride. <laughs> Is when one de de uh, departs from his maker. For, mm -hmm. for, for you to come out your mouth and say, I, 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 I got to die of something, we're, pray <laughs> we're praying that we don't die. <laughs> That's yeah. right. And, and if we do die, we die in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We die fighting for truth, man. Because it says, right. I'm strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. 
Yep. You don't want to die, you know what I'm saying, because of unbelief, or because of um, unrighteous dealings, man. That's you right. see? Mm. You want to die, yep. you want to, and it ain't no, no such thing as death. You want to pass away, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Right. Praising you, how about Shimmy I was shy? And Lord willing, when the Lord come back, you'll be in one of those chariots, man, ready to kick ass, man. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. already, mm -hmm. already got your new body and everything already, man. That's right. So if the elites or whoever no saying try to come for us or whatever, take us out. Just know the Lord willing, we part of that number. It's gonna be coming back with Lord Yahweh shy and the multitude of angels kicking everybody goddamn ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. <laughs> All right. Look, jumping off the top rope style. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, verse 28 it says, The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Damn, last verse the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. See, mm. and that no scriptures breaks itself down, right? You know. Yeah. Yep. Two thirds right. of our people, they look they're, they're considered the wicked too, man. They don't right. want to take heed to the gospel, the good news. They want to hold on to this world. They, they want to uh, uh ignore uh first uh John 2 and 15, love not the world, any of the things that are in it. <clears throat> you know, they're not gonna inherit the earth, man. The Lord said, e either fear me or fear the things that I got coming. Mm -hmm. Did you have any scriptures around? Um, no, I have one, but I was really holding the article. Yeah, hold it, hold it for a minute. Then this is Second Ezra chapter eight, verse fifty, and it reads: "For look, there be many. Let's see if I want to start at three first. I read verse three first. Uh, Second Ezra eight and three: There be many created, but few shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, and, and look, and you're, you're going to see see that happen in these latter days. You're going to see the many that was created, but the few." That's going to be saved, man. And when you go into that word few, one or two, right? Yeah, when you go into that word few, it means um remnant. Yeah, my um, um the minority. I, I know one of the definitions is the minority. So the majority of the people are gonna die, you know what I'm saying? A small yep. number. That's it. Yep. A small number, hardly any, one or two, Ooh. little, two or three. Yeah, because the righteous shall scarcely be saved. The righteous shall be scarcely saved, saved by the uh, hairs of their chinny chin chin. You see, that's Dang. right. Because when you read Psalms, it tells you, uh, you know, destruction is gonna fall by this side, that side, but it should not come to ID. Roughly paraphrasing. Psalms ninety one. Yep. yep. Can I bring? The, can I bring the noun of a few? It says the minority of people, the elect. See. Wow. Wow. The elect. That's who's going to get saved. And that's going. That's the spirit right there, because that's the wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, ain't it? Uh, he has yep. care for his elect. Yep. yep. The Lord, see, Israel, we ready to find out the hard way, man. They always tell us, well, everybody come together, man. We need to all come together. Brew lights, man. The brew walking. We need to be brew walking. We need to be brew stomping. And what's the other one, man? Brew something? <laughs> brew hop. Yeah, we need to brew hop. No side hop. way. You're not going to brew hop your way into the kingdom, man. All right? <laughs> The righteous shall scarcely be saved. So the Lord said, no saying like the brother just brought out the definition for the uh, word few. It means the elect, man. All right. Mm -hmm. And Lord willing, we part of that number, man. You see, that's, that's right. gonna be a, that's gonna be a whole lot of tears being shared too, man. We of that mm -hmm. number, man. You can't you can't do nothing but cry, man. Because we don't know. We don't know if we're part of that number. We, we're hoping to be part of that number. Right. We're part of the hope for elect. Lord willing, we of the elect. Lord willing, we of that number, brothers. Show them, show you right, man. To be an honor, no saying. Did, look, man, for the apostles, the elder bishops, a great millstone to make it, and the men on down, and brothers within your camp, brothers that you was camping with on the highways and byways. We all end up in a chariot, man, with big ass smiles on our face, man, praising your Yahweh by Shimei Shai, crying, snot flying, you, you name it, man, tears of joy. Right. Should be a beautiful thing, man. Lord, when are we of that few, man? Um, and I got I got two scriptures on, on fear too because I made a statement. <coughs> if you don't fear the Lord, then you're gonna fear what the Lord got coming. But I want I want to finish reading um second Ezra the eighth chapter, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. 
That's right, man, because now it's, it's coming to the time of destruction. It's coming to the time of judgment, man. And, you know, roughly paraphrasing before this uh, destruction comes, we're supposed to be examining ourselves. This right. is the time to be examining yourself, man. But Jake's not examining himself. That's why that's why um destruction and misery is gonna have to come on them, man. And it, and, and it already started already. Yep. Remember, you were telling me about a guy, no say Kabai, who rent went up like three hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's misery. Yep. That's if, if that ain't misery, I don't know what the hell is. That's right. right. You know, for, for your rent to jump up three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred. You can't afford these. You know what I'm <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll make you go hurt so that'll make you go do something to somebody man you oh, see yeah. but see now you know that's going to cause a lot of uh the working homeless even more now it's going to be on the rise oh yeah I, I, i'm probably going to find it in a few but i do got one more i got i got i got a scripture on fear right quick that i want to bring out bubba kashan huh. this is um i got two actually huh. This is um, Psalms, Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Yep, there's no there's no want to those that fear him. When you fear in the Lord, the Lord's going to give you the things you need. No IE, food, shelter, you know, protection from this enemy that's going to come down, you know, uh, with, with, with a great wrath because he you knows his time is short. So the Lord's gonna give everything to those because who, who's really fearing the Lord? The elect, right? And we that number. That's the characteristics of the elect. They're gonna be fearing you by Shimei Abishai. So there's gonna be no want to those who are fearing him. And then, and we want to be protected, you know, praying that we're part of that number. Um, Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. There you go. And bless those who are highly favored. Yep. You see uh, uh, a distinction between. Who's favoring and who's not in these times? Okay, because the, the those that's been fearing the Lord, the Lord's going to show favor to them. That's right. He, he, the Lord's going to make a a, a, a defined uh, point of who He loves and who He takes care, who He wants to take care of, man. Okay, who He really cares for. Hey, beautiful point, Rod. I'm saying and the Lord's going to make it plain too. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to show you exactly who He loves the most out of the children of Israel. You see, mm -hmm. he's going to show the whole world, man. It's going to be evident who the Lord is dealing with, man. It ain't right. going to be a secret no more. Like, it ain't no secret to us right about now, but for the whole world, it's a secret who the Lord truly loves. You see? Right. Who he favors on this side. But he's going to make it evident in that <laughs> day, man. Because they're the ones that's going to be taken care of. They're the ones that's going to be comforted, protected. Because the Lord going to give his angels charge over them, man. That's right. Both, both small and great. Mm -hmm. Yep, both small and great. Is that, is that what it's, you were reading the scripture? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yep. For those that, that the Lord cares of, man, he, he's not going to forget. It was scripture say you can't pluck him out of his hand. You know? Right. He's going to make sure that the elect is taken care of. The 144,000 men, the governing body, and the one-third men, women, and children. You know, that multitude. And one more first scripture, Psalms 147 and 11. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Yep, that's what the Lord, he, he, uh, he he's thankful or he, he appreciates, man. He appreciates when we fear him. That's what he wants us to do. That's a requirement. Right. You know, you say, um, what, what is the whole duty of, of, of man, the Israelite man, woman, and child, to fear him and keep his commandments, which we do to the best of our ability? You know, we rehearse in righteous acts. And the Lord is pleased with that. That's right, bro. And who's and, and those that hope in his mercy. Yep, and hope goes into an expectation, looking forward to. So those that fear you how about Shinawa Shai is looking forward to the benefits of that, you know? Looking forward to being fed when the Lord when the world is being starved out. Dang. Looking forward to uh protection when the when when the world is gonna be mayhem and chaos going on out here, man. That's that's what the the elect is gonna be looking forward to those miracles, man. Yep. Shit, you no know saying because you got um professional gas stealers out there now, man. You see, your vehicle can have the the loudest alarm on it known to mankind, and your alarm won't even go off. You see, 
Let's say you know you come outside, the only thing you smell is damn gas. You're like, what the hell going on? Let's say you know you, you, you look up under the car or whatever, and gas just dripping. It ain't leaking out the car no more. It's just dripping. That last little bit of gas that they didn't stick around to get, that's the only thing that's dripping out of your vehicle from the bottom. And look, they didn't took all your shit out, man. They didn't pretty much um did the whole neighborhood. Yep. I think bro, what was it? One of you brothers know saying that um took a picture um of a dude. Was that Isaac? Took a that picture was Isaac. Of like four or five gas cans. <laughs> he had the biggest gas cans known to mankind. <laughs> he had all of them full of gas, man. These people are vain, man. They look these people like the love of many. These people like the hell with everybody else, yo. Remember, remember, um, was it last year or either 2020? That dude, you know what I'm saying, pulled up in that in that truck and put the whole fill the whole what? truck bed up with gas. <laughs> We're getting ready to see people bust each other's heads wide over for tissue again, man. Yep. And these women oh, gonna be man. going crazy. They're gonna be busting each other's heads open wide open for pads now. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be fighting over tampons in the mm -hmm. grocery store, bro. You see? Oh, they're gonna man. be fighting over wipes soon, come man, in mm -hmm. the grocery store, man. Um, feminine products and all that, man. Um, what do you call it? Shit, Massingale, I think it is. Oh, uh, feminine products. Huh? Talking about the, um, the feminine. yeah, the feminine That's products. Right. Yeah, feminine I mean, products. One of them's called Messenger, I think. Oh, I don't know about that. I really don't know the name. I, I got a, like a vague. No saying. Yeah. No saying. Yeah. No saying. Because you know we worry about manly things, but yeah. these women gonna be going crazy over these feminine products, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. All that I can say is yuck. No saying. <laughs> but 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 go ahead, a raw or either kabat. Um, I just have an article here. All right, look, let me bring out this right quick then. This is okay. an Isaiah. Uh, Kabad, did you have a scripture, bro? Yeah, I got a couple on deck. Oh, uh, will you bring out one? I'll bring out one, and you bring out your other couples. And this article can be for like part two if you want, bro. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. We can bring it out, brother. Nah. Uh, Shalom, people about to be through. Shalom, yeah, how yeah, these people about to be through. T H R U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U U う 有 filters， you 知道吗？ No filters， you know that on social media， they had the filters that that take out all the flaws and you like the bumps、yeah. and all that， you gonna see the real deal。You gonna、yeah. see them, them, them、uh, big ass dents in their faces and all that, man. <coughs> yeah, yeah. In the middle,、yeah. the Lord gonna be shouting in that day, man. Yeah, yeah. Ain't gonna be no gonna, the wig shops are gonna close down. You gonna be able to find all that wig. You gonna be running through the streets. Somebody gonna snatch that damn wig off, yo. <laughs> Done. Hey, 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 hey! Look, you be running through the streets and a dog gonna attack your ass and rip your fucking braids out your head, yo. <laughs> Gonna bite out that lace front. <laughs> hey, bro, what up, dog? Arr, arr, arr. Hey, look, man, cause you know animals are gonna attack these people, man. Animals are gonna start attacking these people. Remember that? What happened like two weeks ago? That woman fucking whole scalp got pulled, got ripped off. Oh、up. yeah, yeah. That woman whole scalp got ripped off, bro. Yo, man, it's yo. We're here to see the crazy stuff, man. Mhm.、Mm Mm-hmm. Jake gonna be walking past to get through, yo. Hell yeah. Jake gonna be walking past, looking through out here, man. <laughs> yo, 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 man. Hey, look, that's what the Lord said. My mouth when your spirit come, yo. That's it. That's it. Hey, first、yeah. thing we gonna say, we gonna say, fuck, yo. <laughs> we gonna we gonna say y'all about shit, y'all about shit. We gonna try to get that motherfucker right here, yo. Oh yeah. Jacob be running down the street with one fucking arm. 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> somebody there, did somebody try to eat his ass alive? He's gonna escape with one fucking arm, yo. <laughs> Jake gonna be running out of shoe with his, his clothes ripped down, but near off. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this shit gonna be crazy, yo. God. We're just gonna be on the ground like Kabai said, they lace front, gonna be and got ripped off. Because <laughs> you know they take that um, they take that needle and weave yep. it. You know, oh, yeah. Either a dude or an animal or a fucking eagle or a bird, you know what I'm saying? Gonna snatch that shit off their fucking head, yo. <laughs> oh, these dudes with the dreads, they're gonna really get it, yo. When do we see yeah. Dreads, yo. The Lord gonna have a, a animal or a bear or something rip that shit out of his fucking head, yo. One swipe. <laughs> One swipe <laughs> off, yo. Yep. <coughs> Go ahead, bro. I got two precepts. Damn. This is Sirach chapter 18, verse 20. Uh, <laughs> verse, uh, <laughs> verse 20. It says, Before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. But Jake don't even know that, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Jake not examining themselves. Jake gonna be jumping fences and everything, trying to run from the fucking mob, yo. <laughs> Jake gonna be running their ass off, bro. <laughs> this shit gonna be funny as hell, yo. It's gonna be mm -hmm. funny and scary at the same time, yo. We're gonna be like, yo, that nigga hauling ass, yo. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's, that's right. a beautiful thing, yo. Fucking, yep. they gonna be getting shit by these fucking um silverback gorillas and shit. Yo, man. Hey, you, you saw what that monkey did to that bird? Snatched the monkey the, a bird? You didn't see that video? The monkey snatched the bird out of the air. And oh, yeah, started, yeah. Start uh, beating it down. Yeah. Hey, yo, yo these, 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 these animals and these dudes gonna get, gonna get loose too, man. Yeah, they're showing up fears, man. Damn, man. I, I needed that laugh, though, man. Gun. Yeah, hell, we need we need a good laugh, man. Gun. Mm -hmm. I got one last one. Gun. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, brother. Remember we was on the highway in Byways, and that dude came from down the street with his damn pants down to his kneecaps, though, man. <laughs> I remember that. You gonna see an eagle or a hog just take his ass up to the air, man? Just take his ass to whatever that nest at, man. Mm-hmm. Dude like that, man. I told you, I see that dude way out past, uh, man, it was way out past Capitol one day. The I mean, like Capitol, Le huh? The same dude. The same dude, like Capitol leaving, leaving the city, leave Capitol, Capitol Boulevard. Damn. I was like, what the hell he doing way out here? He, he was on that bike. But yeah, I got one last one because we talked yeah, about here. This is Sirach 18 and um, 27. It says, a wise man will fear in everything. Mm. And in the day of sinning, sinning, he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe the time. See? And that, that's two-thirds of our people. They're not, they're not observing the times that they're in. Mm -hmm. We're warning you. We're telling you. All right? We're feeding you with food that, that, that's convenient for you. Right. But you're not taking it. So therefore, look, the Lord's gonna just pretty much just got to take you off the earth, man. That's right. Because you 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 you're not serving the earth any purpose. You're not serving your how about shot. That's right. I got a quick precept for you, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but it's but <clears throat> the simple pass on and are punished. Mm -hmm. Hey, prudent goes back to wise. A wise man foresees the evil. He's hiding himself in the truth, you know, in his word. He's uh, measuring the times, you know, getting his house in order before destruction, you know, takes place. But it says, uh, um, simple, pass on and are, and are punished. Con. Mm-hmm. Um, Job 5.22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Mm -hmm. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts mm -hmm. of the earth. And that and look, that's beautiful, man. You you, you damn right we gonna laugh, man. Mm -hmm. You ever seen somebody when they really Lord hungry? Will, Lord will we of that number? Mm -hmm. That's right, Lord's will. You see somebody when they hungry, bro? Hell they yeah. bug the hell out, just, just just saying stupid things, you know, falling down, bumping, you know, just you know, acting all crazy. Mm -hmm. And look, we, look, Lord willing, be endure, man. We gonna be, so, you know, we gonna laugh our ass off, man. That's, that's right. Yeah, bro. that was that. That was that, huh? No, I said, I said that's that's right. You know? Oh yeah, I remember that scoffer. Mm-hmm. 
Or I, I remember when they came to the camp and put down dog food that day. Right. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know brothers remember that. Right. <laughs> you know? When, well, when destruction comes upon them, their household, all right, you may see them walking down the street and the, one of their children got their arm blown off. Right. Hell you know? Yeah. We're gonna laugh, man. If I can just say too, bro, um, that, that's got to be a heavy spirit, man. That's got to be a spirit from the Lord to laugh while people getting their heads knocked off, people starving and, you know, catching hell. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got to be a heavy spirit. The Lord did say, it does say, um, when your fear cometh, the Lord's going to mock. You know, he's going to mock when your fear cometh. And how is he going to mock? He's going to mock through the servants. Mm -hmm. No, the tables are going to turn. So it's got it, it's going to be a cold spirit that the servants going to have. That the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is going to be on them to be laughing at, at these things. That's right. They, they're pretty much going to have a spirit of I don't give a damn. Yep. I don't care what happens to nobody. Only yep. look, 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 the Lord said, look, he don't care what happens to anybody except for the elect. Yep. So the Lord going to put his spirit on us to care about nothing but the elect, man, more, more so than them. <clears throat> oh, we care about the elect, but we still know saying, look, man, we hear him then. So something might happen to a family member, you feel some type of way. But in this day when all hell really break loose, the Lord will have us cold, man. Yep. He already making us numb to the things that are happening on the earth now. Mm -hmm. How much more when all hell really break loose? Mm -hmm. and, and Jake, you no, know, so he gave Jake enough time to repent. They, they took it for life. Yeah. Once again, Job 5:22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Cause these beasts gonna be running rampant. They're gonna be seeking food too, but we're not gonna be afraid. Why? Cause we know the scriptures. The scriptures tell us that the beasts of the field are gonna be in league with these. Lord, will right. some of those men? That's right. Bringing bro. us food. You, you, we read the accounts. Okay, how the men of the Lord were fed. All right. Right. And we also know how <laughs> these beasts got down. The scriptures too. That's mm -hmm. right. You know. That's right, bro. I got, I got, I got one more in a rock and bring out his um article, or whatever. Uh right. because it's not going to get better here, all right, Israel. It's not going to get better here in America, all right. And look, and we're thankful too, because as long, long as America is around, you prideful people get to live your best life. You see, mm -hmm. and, and wickedness um, runs on. You see, so we're constantly praying for you. How about you to, to destroy this wicked, simple kingdom? That, that promotes all its wickedness and then it promotes it throughout the four corners of the earth, man. That's why wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth because it gets its ways and philosophies and customs and doctrines from America. You see? So let's read this, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servants shall eat. I had right. the, scripture, the scriptures say the servant what does a servant do? He takes heed to the commandments of his king. Right. Of, of his master who's ruling over him. And at the end of the day, our ruler, our master, is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. Okay? It says that the servants of the Lord are, are, are going to eat, man. That's right, brother. It says, um, but ye shall be hungry. The, the ye is talking about the ones of our people who are not serving the Lord, who are serving their own selves, serving their belly. You know, serving the the uh, uh, the ways of the world that has been promoted to them, man. Serving wickedness, serving these uh these demons. All right, on the left hand side. When you get hungry, run to them. Hmm. It's like 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 when we read, you no, know, saying so. Rock on um, forty and nine, death, bloodshed, strife, the sword, calamities, and the scourge. All these things were created for the wicked. You see all these things happening to these people, but they still don't consider why these things are happening to them. Because you're being wow. wicked, man. That's why all these things are happening to you. Because you're being wicked, man. If you turn from your wickedness, then you things are going to happen, but they're not going to happen to you as if it was be happening to you if you was wicked. Right, right. So we're being tested with certain things. The Lord taking us through certain things. That's the purge off the old man. You know what I'm saying the gold being tried in the fire. So we're being um we're suffering for righteousness' sake. Yep. Two thirds, you know what I'm saying they're gonna serve for unrighteousness, man. So it's gonna be more of a um, severe punishment. It, it ain't gonna be no mercy within the judgments that they receive. See, every judgment that we receive is followed by mercy. That's right. That's why we still. That's why we still around. 
Mm-hmm. You see? It said, that's why it says, it, look, and they shall be hungry. But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. The Lord's mm-hmm. letting you know again, man. He's being repetitive. My servants are going to eat. They're going to drink. But the ones of our people that didn't take heed, they're going to starve their ass off. Right. And look, in the, in scriptures and limitations. All right. Tells you that. Then you better off down by the sword than to go through a famine. That's right, bro. It says, but ye shall be thirsty. Man, you know what it's like to be thirsty, bro? Hmm. Drake, hmm. Uh, Drake, <laughs> Jake gonna have that desert throat out here, man. Right. Mm-hmm. But they don't swallow some sandpaper or something. Hell yeah. Or put some chalk around their mouth. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, lips gonna be white as hell, right? Right. Who is that? Uh, T- Tyrone Biggums. Yeah, hey, Tyrone Biggums. Uh huh. <laughs> Tyrone Biggums. <laughs> it's but yeah, um, man. We say goodbye. Nah, that that's cold, man. Because the Lord tells you cheap things a person need, a man needs to survive: bread, water, clothing. And a, sh- a shelter to cover thy shame. And the Lord's taking the principal things away from you, man. That's right, bro. Oof. It's cold. Yep. He, he gonna he gonna take that roof from away from it from uh, over the head and everything. Yep. Cause you know Jake living in these nice apartments, nice houses, and all mm-hmm. that. The Lord said, I'm taking all that shit away from you. You don't yep. deserve it. You didn't appreciate it. You didn't even thank me for giving it to you. Mm-hmm. Jake don't even thank the Lord. Jake told me, so I got this all. I want to thank myself. Jake thinking they self, man. Don't even thank the Lord. Mm-hmm. The Lord said, um, behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And look, because we look, we're going to rejoice, Lord, when we some of those men, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh kept his word. We know Yahweh Bashim is going to keep his word, man. Mm-hmm. You do what I say, you're going to be taken care of. You know, and what, look, what a lot of us look, look, you ain't got to tell me twice, Lord. I know that's right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Lord, what yeah. you want me to do? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. But the ones about the Lord, we true. Mm-hmm. But the oh, ones about oh, oh, Kabbalah, say what you got to say in there, Rock. I want to bring out your article, bro. Yeah, the ones about people that despise his word, they're going to be miserable. Like it tells you in um, uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Yep. Yeah, miserable mm-hmm. are they that reject knowledge, this knowledge. Mm-hmm. Isaiah 33 and 6 is starting to kick in already, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. This knowledge is stopping us from bugging out, man. Why everybody else is bugging the hell out throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in America. You <laughs> see? Oh, yeah. Then you got these false prophets talking about it ain't going to be sword of famine in this land. The Lord said, by sword and famine shall these shall false prophets be consumed. That's right. You, you got it, brothers. Come on, come on. I'm just going to try to hit the highlights here. There's yeah. an article that was sent to me from um, one of the brothers from, um, in the Virginia camp. Right. It says, uh, what's behind the rapid rise in rent in Richmond? It mm-hmm. says, as we enter the third year of the pandemic, tenants across the country and here in central Virginia are now facing astronomical rent ha- hikes. Mm. It says people are receiving lease renewals demanding several hundred dollars more per month that's right damn these these hikes are all legal but there are some things you can do to try to help your situation here's the definition of astronomical it says it says Eric, uh, erica taylor and her husband are now moving out of their henrico town home henrico is a better part of town with three children Her lease renewal calls for an additional $521 a month starting. So if she was paying $800, she's now paying $13. They're trying to get her to pay $13.21. Damn. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, right, right. That's right. It says, uh, right? uh, Hey, hey, bro, I got the debt. Now I just say independent, right? Uh huh. I got the definition for astronomical. Okay. Astronomical. It's an um, adjective, huge, um, in the, look, of an amount, extremely large, huge, nice. enormous, uh, tremendous, um, monumental. Dang. Very big, very great, very large, yeah. um, epic, gigantic, mm-hmm. massive, 
terrific titanic <laughs> you see um hefty mm-hmm. yeah man yep. whopping the whopping <laughs> serious yeah so so the uh the price hike is very serious man you yep. see and it's taking these people by storm like you said one minute you're paying 800 the, the next thing you know you're paying 1300 people can't handle that shit because look people have been spending all their money already remember no yep. people that got their tax money i know a lot, a lot of people that got their tax money is gone already yep just got their mm-hmm. tax money and look they owe they owe um, all the tax money they owed it out already yep so how the hell are you gonna pay an extra five hundred dollars just for rent, not including your other bills, and you, you gotta uh, try to drive your car? You know what I'm saying to the damn uh, to back and forth to work. Oh, yep. You gonna start seeing a whole lot. Remember, remember what was it? Two thousand twenty? Nah, no, nah, it was like two thousand. It was it was um, when the gas went up. The majority of people was riding bikes to work. What year was that? Two thousand eight, two thousand nine, some shit like that. Yep. Yeah, so like, yeah. It was it was oh eight. Yeah, that's getting ready to come back. Everybody gonna have a damn bike. You I mean bikes everywhere? People oh, gonna yeah. be stealing their bikes and everything. People yeah. gonna be getting their bike locks picked and everything, and fucking clamped up with the um chain um breaker thing. Yeah, <laughs> the cars gonna sit in the yard, man. Hell yeah, you got it, bro. I just want to bring out that definition. Uh, yep, it's just a little bit more. It says, "Quote: We have to move. We have to move. We Dang. can't afford the new rent." End quote said taylor wow she also said they told us that it's market rate and that they're actually keeping us below market rate <laughs> it says uh, yes yeah, so they told her it's, it's legal it's the market rate and even then they give it they telling her they still gave them a deal wow they, they, everyone's greedy too so everyone's trying to increase everything to i guess to either make more take advantage of the market because you know real estate market's still booming it's um uh low supply right now, you know, higher demand, low supply, so people need to rent, you know what I mean? And it's then simple. um, and then I just want to say this, bro. And then plus the real estate people is trying to make back what they lost. Facts during the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? Because you right. had a whole lot of people not paying rent for like two years, so that's a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? Yep. That they that they ain't gonna get back taking people to court, kicking them because now they can finally kick you out now. Yep. You're taking people to court, you know what I'm saying? But people ain't got the money to pay that shit, you know what I'm saying? So you got a whole lot of people homeless. So now they're spiking up the rent to make that money back from people that won't pay mm-hmm. rent. Mm-hmm. So it's going down, and it's mostly these women rent. They don't want to stay in the most expensive apartments. Rent going up now. Mm-hmm. Stay independent. That's the only thing I can say. Stay right. independent. Because because the men of the Lord, Lord willing, we have that number, are going to reject a whole lot of you women. Mm-hmm. That's right. Even a whole lot of women to be coming on the comment board, you're going to get rejected by the men of the Lord. Yep. You see? Because the Lord is controlling everything, man. Some mm-hmm. of you, some of you, the men of the Lord are going to deal with, but the majority of you, the men of the Lord ain't, ain't happy. Look, mm-hmm. all hell get ready to break loose, and we don't want to hear nothing. We don't want zip. We don't want to even want to hear your voice. Right. Mm-hmm. Speak when spoken to. You're going to learn mm-hmm. that. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I brought out an article um, yesterday on the end of news. This dude, you know what I'm saying, deleted his, his woman for, um, for approaching him about dealing with another one. Dang. So, so so it'll be, it'll be a, a good thing it'll be a best thing for you women to shut you find if you uh your man phone ring you see another woman number pop up there keep your damn mouth shut Facts. you see because we're the lord's putting that energy back out into the earth to where the man supposed to have more than one woman all right yep. yeah, and you women ain't gonna be able to stop it either all right you're gonna okay. be able to stop a man or the lord for having whatever he how many women he wants those of women single, he can deal with how many he want. I mean, and right about now, we're living in a time so where it ain't no need to try to have all these different women, but we just quote what the scriptures say. Yeah. You know, it's lawful. A man can have more than one woman, yo, and it's coming back to that, man. Right. You got it, bro. Just a little bit more, just two paragraphs. It says, Taylor isn't alone. In Henrico, the average rent shot up about $185 a month from 2021 that's 28 percent increase and one of the highest in the region in the richmond region Damn. So the greater richmond area is facing about an average of 123 jump per month according to data from costar group so we're seeing rent going up everything gas going up rent going up inflation growing going up price of goods growing going up 
The Lord taking the murph out of this place, bro. You see? And now everybody won't answer. The answers was there the whole time, but you didn't want it because the dudes, you know what I'm saying, didn't look the part. You know what I'm saying? They look ragtag. They was on the corner screaming, hollering, yelling, bringing out scriptures. And you was like, nah, my pastor telling me it's going to get better. You know what I'm saying? But the guys on the corner telling me it's not going to get better. I'm not going to listen to the guys on the corner reading out the Bible. I'm going to listen to my pastor. Don't never read out the Bible. And, and this is the end results of not taking heed. You losing your damn mind, okay? Rent went rent going up five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, and look, it's going. And they want their money too. Yep. they want their money. Look, ride past and walking past a whole lot of people houses from here on out. You will just see shit just laying all in the yard, man. Thanks. Look, everything just on the furniture, everything you can see yard sales everywhere now, man. Because, like, I was going through um, the spirit, you know what I'm saying, the other day. You got all these damn, like, everybody house you ride past pretty much. They got these uh, driveways with the uh, carports. Yeah. Uh, what they call them shits? The garages? Yeah, the garages. Yeah. These people can't even put their car in their garages. So much shit in the garage. Oh, yeah. All, all this stuff that they didn't even need, man. It's going to be some yard sales, man. A whole yeah. lot of yard sales, man. And then, and then um, Sleazy E going to make it um, illegal for you to have a yard sale soon, car. Oh, yeah. So, so just just get ready to see an, uh, astronomical people being put the hell out because they can't afford rent. Because you ain't shit. And if you can't afford rent, you're going to be able to go to the grocery store. Yep. Mm -mm. That's pretty much that grocery bill. You know what I'm saying? The extra $500, mm -hmm. that's that grocery bill for that month. So people are going to be looting and stealing. They don't shit. You know, it's bad. Now they uh, put um, metal around the meat now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the grocery store. Yep. So, so, so this is the beginning of sorrows, man. Right. Any, anything brothers got to say in the scriptures before we close out? Uh, I got one last one. Mm -hmm. This is uh second Ezra chapter 15, verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. Damn. For Yahweh will shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Damn. And poverty. As you read uh, a little further down in, in the chapter, it's one of the things that's being brought upon our people, man. Sky fact, high rent. When you finish, bro, get that last verse. When you finish speaking, come. You know that I'm just not, nah, but that's what the Lord is bringing to our people that that's transgressed His ways. Like you say, our people wonder why, what the hell, who, what, where, when, and why. It's because you have transgressed the Lord, and we're telling you these things. Um, nah, that can't be it. You know. And plus, that's another way of the Lord destroying this place, man. America won't set up to go on for all eternity, man. It's not going to happen, Israel. It's not going to happen, all right? You expect America to go on for all eternity so you can be wicked for all eternity? Hell no, man. It's over now. You had your fun. It's over now. You twerk yourself to death. You know what I'm saying? You tattooed your whole body. Men, the men of our nation, you did enough game banging. You sold enough drugs. We're at the end of it now, man. All right. The Lord get ready to set up a righteous kingdom to where your wife is going to be your wife. She ain't going to know another man. Right. You're not going to worship Allah anymore. You're not going to worship Buddha anymore. Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva. You see? A woman is not going to be the head of the household anymore. That stops here. All right? A woman is not going to jump up and fight a man anymore. That stops here. Right? That's right. Right. The Lord said, let everything be done decently in order. We're at the end of this place, man. Point blank, period, man. That's why you see everything skyrocketing. That's why you see the love of many waxing cold. That's why you see people not just giving it. There ain't no job. There ain't no nothing, man. And that's how the Lord wanted, man. You see? For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. The devil, no sin, he didn't did his job already, man. Yep. This wickedness has reached up into the heavens, man. So, so so it's over now, man. It's over now. That's right. You got it, bro. He close said you want that. He said, huh? I said close the curtain on America. Close the life. curtains, man. <laughs> close the curtains, man. What is saying, man, that? Uh-huh. What is saying, man, that? I you know, got right. it, bro. He said the last verse in this chapter. Oh no, nah, um shit. 49. Yeah. Gun. Verse 49, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, pestilence, to waste thy houses with death, with destruction and death. 
And that's what you're getting ready to see. Right. More of. At a rapid rate. Mm -hmm. That's right. People get ready to start going to get it now. Constantly pray. Pray to your how about Shimmy outside that we're kind of worthy to escape all these things that's going to come to pass because it's not going to stop. That's right. It's not going to stop. Look for new heavens and new earths with wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. The Lord is, is, is establishing a righteous kingdom on the earth. And, it, and he's doing away with this wicked one. Remember, Sleazy E <coughs> is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, right? That's right. Any, anything else, brothers? Nope. Either one of y'all can close us on out then. Hey, so with that being said, before we close out, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elder great millstone, teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who were well. Double shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those of the whole elect that are seeking for salvation. Keep fighting, keep pushing. We almost. We almost home. Right. Shalom. 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 A Baba Ball. Well, a Baba Ball. TTA. 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 Baba Ball. Soon. 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 Very soon. Very soon. Right. Shalom. 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 <clears throat>